Oh no, June. I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you were supposed to be sleepy bears. I just got here. Um, as soon as I started stream, I had to go poop. Like as soon as I hit the go live button, I sent that chat message that I sent to June. And then I went poop. <laughs> like instantly. And I got a cookie now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is... This is my new space, my new apartment. It's pretty cool. I got... I got some stuff set up in the back. Um... Do you want to see something? <laughs> That's a real background. That's not a green screen. Isn't that crazy? Look at this guy. <laughs> Isn't he awesome? <laughs> Yeah, this place is pretty cool, I think. This is, um... Different from my parents' place, but, you know. I wanted to keep the board in the background because it's... Because of the stream memorabilia. Even though it's hard to see and recognize what it is. Um, it's still cool to... To, uh... To have that there. You should have... You should have had a green screen of your old place. Holy shit! That's genius! Hey, next time I do a I do a higher effort, higher energy stream, I'll definitely do that. That's fucking that's funny. <laughs> that's that's an awesome bit. Um today I'm feeling a bit tired, so I wanted to do a chill Minecraft stream. I also didn't want to set the Xbox up, so uh next week when I get a bookshelf, I'll have a place to put the Xbox and then I'll be able to stream Sonic again. But yeah, that, that, that's the plan. I didn't stream Sonic yet because uh, I don't have a place for the Xbox to sit. So um, without it being on the floor and if I knock it over, I could damage the game and I don't want to do that. I don't even want to chance that. So yeah, I just have this. Uh, I just have my desk here, some monitors. Yeah, we're just chilling. We're chilling today. Gonna play some Minecraft. I wanna show you guys my world. My world is so cool. I've been playing this offline world for um, off and on every once in a while. I have about 90 mods installed. <laughs> Maybe o almost 100, I think. And I just wanna I wanna show you guys. So hi, Doom Smitter. How are you? How are you doing today? Do you want to see? Do you want to see little Brandon? <laughs> He's a jump scare now. He's over there on the shelf. I'm actually gonna go put him back before we get started on the little Minecraft journey. It's weird live streaming in a different space, you know? It's it's really fucking weird. Um, if I do, oh man, I oh my god, I just shook you violently. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I uh, if I do set up a green screen, I'd have to do it through a a software and an AI detects my the subject instead of actually physically using a green screen because there's not enough space. There'd be a lot of spill and it just wouldn't work. Um, because I'm like almost buddy buddy with my with my bed here. Yeah, I think I'm like seven inches away from my bed. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Let's get. I'm gonna edit something here, and then I could get Minecraft started. I have it loaded up. I'm just trying to get the the world. <laughs> How you guys doing today? Chilling out today. I went to go see an old friend today. It was very nice. Um, he got a new apartment with his girl. 
and they live downtown in our hometown. It's, ooh, it's sick. They're like luxury apartments, dude. They, it looks so fucking cool. Also, oh my god, my game almost crashed. Can you see it yet? It's just a black screen right now. Well, that's kind of scary. Hold on. Let me get this fixed. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right, is this working? There we go. Look at that. I live in the Arctic in this world. It's pretty fucking crazy. Look at this place. It's so cool. This is um my friend's house. He's a villager. Our, uh, he's a special villager. He can cast magic and shit. Hold on. Let me turn this song off. All right. Uh, let's play a different song. What would be a good song to play? <laughs> let's just... Um... Let's let's play this Katamari song. Oh hell yeah. Listen to that. <laughs> so jealous of how you people can use shaders. Yeah, my shaders are gorgeous, thank you. This is my friend. Hello. The music's a bit loud. Can you guys hear the music? Sorry, trying to get back into the flow of streaming. This is my villager, my villager friend. His name is the gatekeeper. Um, item only needs to use once. I think I have this item. Yeah, it's this right here. He has a portal. A little too quiet. There you go. I increased it a little bit. So, inside the villager's house, there is this portal, which is not right here. <laughs> Let me show you. Um, where is it? Oh, it's up this one. Hold on, let me... There we go. This right here is a portal. Oh, but it's missing this block. This one block right here. Oh, actually two blocks. It's missing two blocks. But, oh. Oh my God. Wait, can I mine it with an iron pickaxe? Lunar stone blocks. I don't know what dimension it goes to, but it goes to an alternate dimension. And I'm, I am, also I have two maps. <laughs> Wait, can I turn one of the maps off? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Is it J? Whoa, big map. Um, N. What? Waypoints B. What? The end. Turn that off. What? Oh my god. Brain blast. <laughs> um Save? What? Oh, I don't know, man. Okay. Anyways, I think I can use this portal. This is all that's needed, right? The top blocks, the side blocks, and the bottom blocks. We don't need the corner blocks. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Um Okay. Uh I want to come back here when I get some food and I uh put the stuff in my pockets away, but let's not get carried away here. So I live in the Is that a fly? That little, <laughs> okay, there's a bug with the spyglass where like, I could see my character model every once in a while <laughs> in it. Uh, speaking of character model, this is me. I got gold samurai armor on. 
And um, I also have a mod that allows me to, it turns on combat mode. So I have a great sword here. I turn the mod on. For some reason, it makes me pink. I think it's just because the mod can't register this. You're using forge or fabric? I'm using forge. Uh, I have, I didn't even know what fabric was until I started installing mods um, a couple months ago. But yeah, this is, so check this out. I have a mod called Epic Fight and it allows me to, basically like every single weapon has a move set like this. I don't have that many for the great sword, but I do have a skill, a mobility skill, which allows me to dodge roll. Ooh, did you see that shit? Ooh, ooh, look at that. Pretty fucking awesome, right? I can also punch, <laughs> block with the shield. It's pretty sick. This is what it looks like in first person. It doesn't load the, some of the armor very well, but you know, it works. That's pretty sick, I think at least. The great sword makes me shorter, so I'm gonna do this. Do you got the protocol mod? The the parkour mod. What's the parkour mod? Lay it down on me. I'm gonna go to my shack over here. Go to bed real quick because holy shit, I haven't slept in <laughs> weeks in this game. <laughs> yeah, what's the parkour mod? Lay it down on me. I just found this waystone yesterday. I'm so goddamn happy I found it. Because if I find a place of interest, I could just put another waystone over there if I find one. Um, I, I'm living in these like little igloos here. Or not igloos, but like tents. With a blossom tree right here and a campfire. Ooh, speaking of that campfire, I gotta put some bread on it. Cook me some bread, baby. Get some toast. Ow! <laughs> Dude, toast is a incredibly busted food here. Also... Shit, I don't really have a way to get food. Or I don't have a a renewable food source. Um, except for the pigs. I don't want to kill the pigs that are here. They're just chilling. I like them. Oh, he's been damaged. What happened, dude? But anyways, um, this is my place. Got these cool little, little things here. Um, I'm currently, what I want to do is I'm storing everything in these barrels right now. Uh, but I want to eventually make like little ladders here and then build like an underground area where I store a lot of my stuff and do a lot of my things. You can make one of those unlimited food source farms. Maybe. My idea is I need to get a farm, but also I need to go fishing soon so that I could just fish because, you know, I'm near quite the amount of uh the amount of water <laughs> i'm near a lot of water but yeah uh let me let me put away a bunch of stuff and then i'll, I'll show you around some other spots because i think this place is really cool i mean look at this this is gorgeous i got some bamboo growing over there and by the way i basic i spawned here i'll actually i'll show you exactly where i spawned it was right over here I'm slouching. Oh. What is that pig doing? Pigs love this area, dude. I don't know why. <laughs> the pigs just love this place. I spawned right there where that little island is. And I just walked over here because I saw this, this tower right here. I saw this tower, walked over here, saw this house, and I took refuge here. And I've, I've been living here ever since. I, ca I called this place home. Where do you think you're going? Ooh, that is a perfect view of the plains. Oh, cool. That is a, a dangerous creature right there. I think I've been killed by it like four times. 
Parkour is an advanced parkour mod from Minecraft. It allows you to wall run, do flips and shit. If you want to use it with Epic Fight, I believe there's a compatibility mod that allows you to use both. That sounds awesome. Dude, I might look that up later because that sounds really fun. Um, yeah, I, I might check that out later. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. That sounds like a sick mod. Um, okay, let me... Let me just put some of my stuff in my chest real quick. Do a little bit of organizing here. Oh, I gotta put my all my bag on. Um, I actually haven't gone mining. What do you think you're doing, Goober? Get out of here! Quit peeking through, you little pervert. Uh, I actually haven't done that much mining in this game. Most of my mining has been through. Uh, or most of my material gathering has been through going dungeon delving. Dungeon delving. I, I've i been... Because there's a dungeon basically like right next to this house, I've been going through that and just getting materials that way instead of mining. It's It's been pretty fucking cool um, and a lot of fun. Even though it changes the game pretty radically, it's it's very fun to me and I like it. Put all the cobblestone in one area. Gravel. What? That isn't gravel? Is that andesite? Yeah. Andesite will be pretty useful when we get to my create. My goal is to make a train. God, I want to make a train so bad. And I can make a train like that goes to different locations and stuff. It'll be useless if I just put waypoints everywhere, but I still think it would be a really cool task. Just build a train. I think that's neat. Um, put bamboo in the wood chest. And then... Oh! Arrow of slowness. I'll put these seeds over here. Oh, wait! I think I have a chest with some food in it over here. Yeah. So, there's some things that I forgot. Because it's, it's, it's been a while since I played this. <laughs> I know I played it yesterday, but I was just relearning the things that I started when I played it yesterday. Oh, we got some shale. Put all the shale right here. Very disorganized. I'm probably making someone mad out there <laughs> about it. And it's okay. Let's put... I'm going to carry this coal with me. I'm going to put it in my backpack. My backpack. Which There we go. Ooh, yeah, I forgot I had the skill book. Um, I'm going to put it somewhere. I don't know where to put it. Uh, I... <laughs> fuck it. I'll just put it in this chest for now. Got a spider eye. Redstone. A name tag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A frozen bone. I know where that goes. The animal dictionary. I'm keeping that. And lead. I'll keep the lead in my inventory. I got poison in here. <laughs> oh, if I put milk in this. Oh, oh my God. If I get to the point where I have milk, I can put milk in this drinking thing. And then I could possibly like drink from my backpack. If I ever get under like a, if I ever get an effect like slowness or poison, I could probably just drink some milk and get rid of that effect. So that'd be sick. Oh. I need some cows. I haven't seen cows around here at all. Just a lot of pigs. Oh, I can turn on Minecraft music now. Milk soaked backpack. Nah, dude, I got a milk compartment. You telling me your telling me your backpack doesn't have a milk compartment compartment? What are you? That's that's weird, dude. Come on. Give it the times, dude. The milk backpack is where it's at. I just gotta, I just gotta get there. I gotta make it myself. Oh my goodness, gotta put this in the snowball chest. All right, and then we got calcite, which goes over here. And gunpowder, I don't know where the hell I'm putting gunpowder. Right here. Flint, flint will go down here. Redstone, spider eye. Uh, I think I have a chest for that. 
Name tag is going to go right here. I know where the frozen bones are going. I'm going to go over here. Ah, uh, this place is so pretty. I live in a frozen tundra. Frozen tundra of scary, <laughs> scariness. Skill book is going to go in here. I got some uh, fisty cuffs right here. Pretty epic. <laughs> nah, suck, sucking on the milk soaked backpack is more convenient. Also makes a funny noise when I throw it at the wall. Yeah, uh, hey, you know what? That's for true. Hey, and if you prefer it that way, you know, uh, who am I to stop you? Who am I to stop you to fill up your milk soaked backpack once again and starts dripping milk down and you put your mouth on the corner of the bag and you start suckling on your backpack? That sweet, sweet milk. Whole milk. And then you're all, you run out, refill it throw it against the wall as a tradition because every time you fill up your your backpack you have to throw it at the wall and it makes a little <laughs> sound and then you go mmm shaking just frothed up my bag now I can have a delicious snack a delicious beverage good old frothed milk backpack yum Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a bad bit. <laughs> uh, I was probably. I'm sorry. That was probably a minus two, wasn't it? <laughs> um, oh, I gotta put this. Where? What was I doing? Oh, fuck it. I'll put dirt in here. <laughs> then I gotta put stairs in this one. All right, cool. Next up, we will need... Oh, I should probably get a fishing pole because there's uh, there might be something useful that I can use inside of the other... Or there might be some like exotic fish inside of the other dimension that I can check out. Let me get some sticks here. I saw a post once where a kid put his milk all over his favorite stuffed animal and then sucked all the milk out of it when he was a toddler. Ew! Dude! Gross! What the fuck? <laughs> nah, I get it, though. Nah, I get it. Actually, I think that kid is a genius. If I had to... If I say so myself, I think that kid is probably going places. Did did that kid say he was um, Stephen Jobs? Per perhaps was that Stephen Stephen Jobs of Apple Incorporated? Because hmm? it sounds like it. Sounds like that kid probably grew up to be a genius. Oh, I could put more sticks in my bundle. Get my axe. Never know when I'm going to need a tool in there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this button does. I'm scared to press it. Oh, I wonder if... Can you see the fishing pole? Oh, you can. Look at that. It's on the side there. You see it? There's the bow at the top and then the fishing pole at the bottom. That's really cool. That's sick. Well, my character is Diego Brando, by the way, from <laughs> Steel Ball Run. Um, okay, I got some toast, make some torches before I head out. All right, where's the creeper? About to see this in real fucking action. Toast crashed the stream? Wait, are you fucking for real? What happened? <laughs> Did the stream actually cut out? That sucks. <laughs> because I mentioned toast. <laughs> Um, oh, shit. Guys, okay. Oh, just your end. Okay, thank God. Um, funny you say that. I, oh, damn, really? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you're here still, so thank you for sticking around. <laughs> um, uh, it didn't say that it did on the, 
on my end, but that sucks. But speaking of internet and my stream, I actually have a better internet connection than I did before. And next time I stream, I might be streaming in full HD for like the first time in like two years, dude. I haven't streamed in 1080p in so long. Um, I've been streaming in 720 because my my internet couldn't really handle it beforehand. But now, now that I'm hooked up directly to the modem and we got quantum fiber, you know, we, we got fiber optic internet. Oh, baby, we're fucking now. We're fucking up the up the butt. I know. I know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. I put my coal in the chest. Oh, I need that. Take some coal for the road. Say that much. And then make some torches. Put about four in there. Oh my god. What the hell is happening? There we go. <laughs> four. Put the gunpowder in here. Nope. Wrong one. In here. Alright. I'm going to kill this skeleton and then be on my way. We'll see. Oh, shit. Actually, yeah, I need to get that zeal lighter over there. So let me do that real quick. Hell yeah. Do the 1080p stream at 360p for the funny. Yeah, that, that'd that be sick. It's in a... The canvas is in 1080p, but the bit rate is enough to make it 360p. So it just looks like shit no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> and then I make the audio quality purposefully terrible too. Okay, now hey, now we're thinking. Now we're thinking about a fucking awesome stream. This is starting to sound like one of the greats, if you ask me. Oh shit. I need to turn up my Minecraft. I'm kinda quiet. Here, hold on. Options, music, and sound. There we go. That's a little better. Still pretty quiet. There we go. All right. Now let's... Let's go to the... Oh, fuck. There's skeletons here. There's monsters here. I hope... Yeah, he's asleep. He's fine. He'll be fine. Uh, Fellas, I have never seen this other dimension. I don't even... I, I don't even, like, know what is on the other side. I mean, hold on. Let me turn on my webcam. This is a monumental moment. Monumental. Has Jeremiah ever done that? I feel like a purposefully bad audio and bad quality stream would be a bit he would do. I mean, probably. Um, I know that I did that before for the Melania. The, during the Melania stream, I did that as a bit. Uh, opening a can of cactus cooler. Huh? Ah, fellas, we are about to go into another dimension. Another plane of existence that I have never, ever seen before. Uh, I think so. Okay, let's let's check our journal, right? This is the Blue Skies journal. Let's see what we can find about it. I think this one is the Everdawn. Yeah. At least it looks like it. So in the Everdawn dimension... The entry to the Everdawn Dimension, created with lunar stone bricks and lit with a zeal lighter. This world is always hot and humid, but the time is always at sunrise. Insects thrive here, especially during the rain, when more of them leave their homes. Hmm. The insects have grown to scary sizes, some being about half my size. I don't know how big this guy is, so this is a, I mean, it could be a goblin talk, like a two foot goblin talking, so I mean, even then, even fucking then, that's a big insect, actually. 
That's a bee drill. Rain seems less heavy here. Usually only a slight drizzle. Sorry, I thought it... thought I heard them open the door. Dude, don't go outside. There's fucking monsters. What do you think you're doing? Anyways. The brick dimension. Yeah. The dimension full of being bricked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, anyways. The Everdon. Rain seems heavy here. Usually only a straight, slight drizzle. Less heavy here. The fauna here seems to be mostly reptilian, with few exceptions. Okay. So the Everdon is a very humid world. Seems like there's always some sort of humidity going on. It's always wet. Um, so that makes me think that I should get a boat. <laughs> I might need it. It sounds like there's probably going to be a lot of rivers and stuff. So I should probably get a boat before I leave. So let me do that real quick. Oh, I hear a baby zombie. Come at me, motherfucker. Ooh, yeah, you see that shit? Mmm, fuck that guy. I did a roll. <laughs> I wish there was more animations in first person. Make it look cooler, you know? Uh, shit, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna say? Oh, make a boat. <laughs> That's right. Gotta make a boat. Make a boat, yeah. Tobuskish. Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> now that the webcam is on, I feel like I have to do something as a bit. But this is a chill stream. I'm not gonna do that. We're here to chill out. This is a stream you fall asleep to. Okay. Hey, piggy, piggy man. Piggy, pig man. Bro, look at this. This is gorgeous. Hold on, let's... Let's take a look... at this area before... Take a look at the land before I go into a... another plane. Another plane of existence. Look at this beautiful land. Oh, I gotta show... Oh, it's just a villager. I gotta show you guys the... Falling asleep later. I gotta show you guys that tower. And the dungeon. That's where the entrance to the dungeon is. I gotta show you guys that stuff later, but... For now... Soak this in. It's cool. I love the, the ice caps over there. I think they're sick. Oh! Um... There is a fortress. Well, there's a village over there that I haven't been to yet. But there is a fortress. If it'll render in over here. That I think looks insane. It, it's not loading up, but I want to... I mean, look at that. That looks cool as hell, dude. That's got to be something important over there. <laughs> and I need to get more gear. I need to feel well equip equipped in order to go over there. You know what I'm saying? I want to go over there soon. But, all right, enough stalling. Let's get over to that. Let's go over to the other dimension. The Everdon, I think is what it's called. The Everdon Dimension. Oh, I got stuck in a spider web. Okay. Let's put the coal 
rotten flesh. Ew! Get out of here. All right. Once I light this portal, we'll be making history. We'll be going to another plane of existence for the first time ever. Fellas, let's fucking do it. Oh, it's red. <laughs> I'll have my Uchi Katana ready. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm falling. Whoa. Forever Dawn? Whoa, 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 hey, chill out. Ooh. Oh, shit, we spawned. The portal was made halfway through a tree. That's so sick. Let's place torches here. Place it around. Make sure we know where this place is. Oh shit, this is cool as hell. I'm gonna carry my torch in my offhand. Oh, you see that source of light over there? Let's put the zeal lighter in my backpack. Put the coal in my bag too. There we go. Oh, wait, what did we get? Fiery bean seeds. I wonder what those are used for. Is a source of light. It's coming from that plant. Let's go towards it. Fuck yeah. Ooh. I wonder if these... Hold on. Let me have a spot with an empty hand. Loosen root. I wonder if the ever dawn is forever night. That's why it's called Forever Dawn, or the Ever Dawn. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, these trees are gorgeous. I want one. I want a tree. Can I climb these? Hmm, I can't climb these vines. Maybe I could if they were laid up against a block. You should place some torches up top near the top of the tree going from the trunks so you can see if you get lost. Hmm. Oop. Oh, I am getting hungry. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Okay. What's over here? Oh. Is that a way out? Okay. I think I can set a waypoint right here. Its name will be Portal. Ever dawn on save. Okay, it it's not showing on the overworld. Um, it is showing on my right hand map though. So let's see if I can. Oh, there it is. Hey, look at that. All right, cool. Let's see if. Oh, I'm waiting at work. What do you? Hey, what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the fucking <laughs> the time to be over so you can clock out? Me and uh, me and Mr. Bartholomew work together here. Oh shit! I think that's a way out. Oh, oh shit, dude! We're about to see what this place looks like outside the forest, dude. Oh, whoa. Floating islands. Oh, you hear that music? Oh my god. This 
This place is fucking amazing. Yeah, I, I'd live here too. This is beautiful. Look at these lily pads. Fishy bears. Whoa, what the fuck is that? A purple fox! <laughs> Hey, dude. Can I give you some toast? No? Hi! Would you like a, a flower? Oh, dude, they're awesome. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a lizard. That's a giant lizard. Whoa, oh, dude. Look at, oh, look at him. This is so cool. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, dude. Where are you going? Ooh, what's this? Just a... Piece of... Brick. Let's mine it. Oh, wow. It seems this tool doesn't work as well here. Interesting. Lunar cobblestone. Cool. Okay. I wonder if I look in the book. Everdon. Whoa! Oh, we have so much shit now. I'd for sure have that lizard as a pet. Yeah, he was a he was a pretty cool lizard, man. Fox pelt? Cosmic foxes. This can be used to create camel camel saddles? That sounds amazing. The bag of spoils. Ooh, I want to know what that does. But I don't want to kill the fox. They're so cool. The cosmic fox. One of the smallest animals I found in the Everdon. Had to be the cosmic fox. I managed to find the little critter in more open areas, such as the searing grasslands and the unorthodox valley. I was able to tame the fella using crescent fruits, and it would follow me around wherever I went. It even listens to commands. Oh, shit. Where do I find a crescent fruit? The Everdon is capable of nurturing some rather tropical fruit. The primary ones being crescent fruits. I've found that these fruits will grow on the bottom of almost any crescent fruit leaf, and can be harvested seeming seemingly infinitely and indefinitely so long as the leaves are in bloom hmm any crescent fruit leaf okay the alchemist who the fuck is the alchemist okay hold on i'll read up on the alchemist in a second we need to find, we need to find out about these. Oh, there's nothing about tools. Okay. Oops. I need to find some, something to use tools for. Oh, what the fuck? That's so cool looking. <laughs> It looks like there's something, it goes higher. Do you see that? I wonder what I could see at the top of that point. Before I go there, let's see here. Let me try. Am I wrong? I thought there was an alchemy wizard. Yeah, I think there's an alchemist in this world. I just haven't, I haven't encountered him because I was in the overworld. And the alchemist only exists in the Everdon, I believe. All right. Let me mine up a tree. See what I can get from it. Oh my god. Uh, there was that 
that villager that I had back at the village or back at my house. A new dawn. And that villager What the fuck is that? You see that? What? Did he just He just teleported? Oh, we got teleporting creatures here. That's great. Your tool works horribly here. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> that shit doesn't work very well, huh? Hi, Matt. Matt, do you like the Everdawn? It's, it's fucking, I think it's beautiful. Look at this place, dude. It's so cool looking. I need to find some berries so I can get these little, these little critters. So I could befriend a little fox here. Looks very epic. That's what I'm saying. Ah, fox man, fox man. Okay. So with these. Wait. Oh, here it is. Maple. Oh, I should replant this maple. This maple tree. Bam. Give back to the environment. With this, I can make a crafting table. I tried swearing and berating you when I first joined, but it, YouTube didn't let me. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> it's got some pretty strict rules sometimes. Oh shit, there he is. There's that critter again. Do you think it's friendly? Let's approach it with a weapon, just in case. Hey, dude. Oh, I don't think it's friendly. Oh, I don't think it's friendly. Well, hold on. Let's hear him out for a second. Hey, dude. What's going on? Oh, my God! Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Fucking run, dude. Oh, my God! Dodge roll. Oh, I was using my greatsword? Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, dude. Oh. That thing almost killed the shit out of me. <laughs> that was scary. What, 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 what was that thing? What was that? Did I get anything from it? A night crease? I don't think I got that. I got bug guts. Wow. What a, <laughs> what a nice thing to gather. <laughs> I wonder if I can eat that. Uh, okay, let's look in the journal real quick. Oh, it's just a fox. Let's hear the giant fire bug out. Listen, he could have been a friend. Just like the the little, the, the giant fucking lizard was a friend, okay? The giant fire bug could have been friendly. I wanted to hear him out. I'm a pacifist until they attack me. Then I want them dead. <laughs> okay. Um, shit, what was I doing? Oh, we were going to look at the book. So let's look at the Everdawn book. The Emberback. These giant beetle creatures can be challenge can be a challenge to fight without being aware of their battle tactics. The Everback can be found flying towards its targets once near. The insect will drop down, expelling flaming hot air from under its shell. These insects are very smart and can detect whether you're and can detect whether you've been consumed. A fire resistance potion and will instead try to bite you or lower damage for lower damage output. What 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 are you doing, buddy? I'm reading. Yeah, uh, I'm reading. So chill out, okay? These insects are very smart and can detect whether you've consumed a fire resistance potion and will insist instead try to bite you for lower damage output. Interesting. An easier way to take care of these bugs is either by using a shield or by luring them to a body of water. Hmm, I wonder if they are weak to water. Are we back? Yeah, stream, stream actually did cut out for a second there. I don't know why that happened. 
But yeah, stream, that, that was real. That one was real. Stream cut out. <laughs> and maybe I can't stream in 1080p. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, weird how that works. Maybe it's just our internet, but stream cut out. Yeah, stream... Yeah, I just read that. I don't know why I was reading that again. Okay. Holy shit, dude. This place is cool. It's forever dawn. So it's like forever sunset. That's so sick. Um, I need to see if I can create any better tools. So... Oh, actually? <sighs> My tool doesn't work as well here. I wonder if... Look at that guy. Not a care in the world. Look at him. Not even a thought. <laughs> Not even a thought going through that brain. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can get three of these stones. That way, I can build an ax. And maybe a pickaxe. Actually, let's get some more. Hmm. Delicious stone. All right, can I make a lunar pickaxe? I need uh, wood. I need sticks first. <laughs> oh, they're just normal sticks? Okay. Let me just get the sticks from my bundle. Ooh. Wait, hold on. This This is spoiling it. This is spoiling it. Get out of here. A lunar stone pickaxe. Look at it. It's black and shit. Man, this is awesome. I'm in my new cozy decorated room. I mounted my TV to the wall with a moving arm, so I pulled it out. It's facing my bed so I can watch Brandon's stream and fall asleep. All I need is some twinkly soft lights, and this would be perfect. That's That sounds cozy and nice. <laughs> little nice, cozy setup. I hope you can fall asleep to the stream. That'd be, that would be epic. Okay, it seems as though tools from the overworld are damn near useless here. So <laughs> let's make, except for maybe weapons, let's make an axe to mine some more trees, just in case I need it. Where do my sticks go? Put them away. <laughs> We got a lunar axe, and then we're gonna put these two in the backpack. There we go. Oh, I forgot I had a crafting table in here. God damn it. I'll be a little silly sometimes. <laughs> My backpack has a crafting table and I forgot about it. Whoa, did you see how slow that comes up? Okay, how much faster can I mine these trees now? A little faster. <laughs> Playing Rising Revengeance. I think that's awesome. <laughs> that stream is much more intense, too. All right, let's get a blossom in here. What is this? A maple stick. Okay. <laughs> Maple sapling, here we go. Maple trees are cool. I want this tree though. This tree is sick. Like an ever dawn jungle tree. It's so, it's cool. <laughs> Will this cut down the whole tree? Yes, it will. Holy shit, that broke the ax. <laughs> Ooh, look at all this delicious wood. Give it to me. Gimme, 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 gimme. Mmm, yum. What's this? 
A Moonlit Bloom. Oh, what a beautiful name. I like these night crests. The night crests flowers are very cool. I want some. And these. I will be harvesting from this plane of existence. I hear Brandon finding a metal gear going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah perfect sleep remedy. A man screaming for his life as he fights a giant robot. <laughs> Got to replant this tree. Okay. Let's put these pieces of wood in my backpack. Cool. Hello, fox. <laughs> Leave no trays. Well, I just got to help the environment. Not trying to be sneaky. Just like to plant what I took. Oh, it was just a, <laughs> the torch. I thought there was another fire bug. <laughs> Get some of this stone. I wonder if I can make a great sword out of these. Because my great sword is running. A little low right now. Oh, shit. It's called a dusk. A dusk tree? Dusk log, yeah. That's cool. Oops. Get into the backpack. Um, I can use this as a crafting table. Where's the cobble? Here it is. This lunar cobblestone looks really cool. Uh, I need to make an axe. There we go. Now I have better tools. Let's put the dusk sapling in the backpack. Keep the flowers out of here. They look neat. All right. Um, what else? Should, what else should I do out here? What if I keep following the sun? Well, actually, a better idea would be, I'm gonna mine the rest of these, and then I'm gonna go on the top of that mountain we saw earlier, back towards the portal. Can't see it right now, it's not rendered in. But if I climb that mountain, why is, you see that? <laughs> you can see my armor in the, in the crosshair, that's silly. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's climb that mountain. And then I can use the spyglass to view the land. Get a get a good quick scan of the land. Back into the dawn forest. Already my sword. Just in case we see any critters that'll cause trouble. Shit. I, uh... <laughs> I should have set a waypoint of where that mountain was. I just kind of spaced out and started walking, but... I'll probably find it. It's a giant mountain, so... Was a little, little light bug. Look at him. It's cute. Does the journal say anything about light bugs? Number back. That's a fly. The shade monitor. Oh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I hope. Ooh, that's a scary spider. I hope we can find. 
a camel soon. That would be sick. To have my own means of transportation within this dimension? That'd be so awesome. Oh, dude, what if I built a train here? Oh, that'd be awesome. It would also be cool if I could fly. <laughs> oh, I have to go all the way up there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you telling me there's stone in this mountain? <laughs> oh, shit. It's going to be a little while before I get there, huh? Got that lunar dirt, though. Whoa, I'm on a tree. Oh, this is awesome. I love the way these glow. Wait, is that ore? Oh, what ore is that? Some more right there. All right. Mountain, you... Whoa, it's dark. <laughs> Some more ore over there. It glows. That's cool. Oh, is this a mountainous biome? That's a tall mountain. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what that ore does. Hmm. That's, yep. Mm, gonna take damage from that. Light up the world. A moonstone shard. Sounds promising. Ooh, did we just find a cave? Damn, it's dark in here. Darkest fucking dimension in the multiverse, apparently. I wonder if there's a brighter torch I can... I can find. There's another ore over there. I might need to go get food soon. Yeah, these torches ain't really doing anything. <laughs> Although, it doesn't seem like there's many enemies here. Yeah, let me make a lunar shovel real quick. backpack in my bag. Oh, it's 10 p.m. That means Trevor's getting out work. Deborah! Deborah going home! Is this a... I haven't heard this song before. Is this a... A swift upgrade? Hmm. I bet you there's something in the book about these now. Every time I make an advancement, I bet there's something in the book about it. Oops. Alright. Everdawn. Huh. Wait. Was that it? 
Um, crystal flower? This flower is an interesting one. It's, it's somehow a mix of crystal and foliage. Upon closer inspection, if fertilized with something like bone meal, it is able to grow into a fully fledged tree. That sounds awesome. <laughs> a moonstone shield. The shield is quite a bit more durable than a normal wooden shield. It also sports a transparent look, like a vitreous moonstone does, allowing you to see things through it. Okay. Oh, my screen is turning orange on my on my end because of a uh, night load, night mode, night light. <laughs> well, I'm not using my wooden kite shield. Moonstone shard. I don't think the Moonstone Shield was there before, right? Horizonite. This definitely wasn't here before. So Moonstone has to be here somewhere. The Crystallized Tree. Spiderwebbing. Sunstone. These crystals are hot to the touch, sporting a glowing orange color. They can be used as fuel at any, in any furnace, as well as a way to charge the Horizonite Forge. These can be found deep in the sunset maple forest and the searing grasslands. Hmm. Deep as in far in within the land or far underground within the biome? I don't know if it does anything special like the sunstone crystal. How, but it does look rather pretty. <laughs> The Bag of Spoils. A small bag that can carry almost anything and can hold a maximum of five different items inside of it. I figured out I could pickpocket any villager by crouching and using it on them while they weren't looking. Whenever they saw me do it, as expected, they would get quite unhappy about it. Even the Iron Golem of the village attacked me. The only individual I was not able to pickpocket was the Night Watcher. Who the fuck is the Night Watcher? Who gave the bag... Who gave me the bag in the first place? Suffice to say, I won't be visiting that village again. The. The what? Hi, hi Cameron. <laughs> Thought you were frozen for a second. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I, I. I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Arcs. In the folklore of the people who inhabit these worlds, there is a mention of legendary artifacts known as Arcs. These artifacts are rumored to only be held by the protectors of each dungeon structure in these worlds. Each Arc is said to grant special powers to the one who bears it. Oh baby, you know I'm going to be looking for that Arc. Oh, I'm going to be looking for that Arc. So these are the ores, right? Stick variations. Woods have different properties. These properties transfer over to the sticks created from the wood, meaning I can change the properties of whatever tool I make. Starting off with the most basic variations being blue, bright, and lunar. These are the most similar to the overworld's typical stick type. Tools sport their normal properties with average weight and strength. If I want something reliable, I know I can count on these sticks. Now, into the more interesting ones. Frostbite and maple. Hey, I have some maple sticks. Incredibly dense with heavy tools. Incredibly dense and heavy. Tools with sticks made from either of these wood variations will be much more durable at the cost of making them harder to swing at the targets. Knowing this, both of these sticks are better to put on tools rather than weapons. This also makes this also affects spears, making them harder to throw, but they are more durable. There is starlit and dusk. These wood variations seem to be the oldest of the worlds. They're very light and fragile. I can't imagine tools being used these use being tools built using these won't last very long. 
I did find that making weapons was well worth my time, as it makes them much easier to swing, and in the case of spears, much easier to throw. This is actually one, there's actually one more stick type, the most rare of them, cherry. Oh, shit. This elusive wood variation is almost entirely a direct upgrade to the previously mentioned frostbite and maple. Its added strength doesn't add any more weight than those others do, but it is ever so slightly more durable. Okay. I do have some maple. Well, what did it say maple was? The gorp, gorp, gorp. Hi, Rain. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm just playing some Minecraft. Minecraft! Okay, so where was the maple? Maple variations are incredibly dense and heavy. Okay, so if I make one impact, okay, I can make a maple pickaxe that'll probably be be more durable let's do that real quick Ooh, wait i should make it out of the one of the gemstones do we have anything what can i make with this one this gemstone found anywhere underground in either world. It seems tools created from such a material are very light, so I can use them very fast. These tools don't seem to be very durable though. Hmm. Okay, so this would be, I'm glad I checked this. This is... What? <laughs> that would not have been a good tool to use it for. Uh, what about the moonstone? Purely a source of light. That's right. Uh, can I make... So I can't really make anything super durable with this, except for the stone pickaxe. Speaking of that, let's make it. Just in case my other one breaks. And while we're here, let's make some torches with this. What? Are these different? The dusk stick. Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't know I had different ones. Um, where did my other sticks go? Am I blind? Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> they were right there. Nothing, huh? So do I plant it? Uh... Okay, I can't plant it. How do I use this? They are shards, not stones. Oh. I didn't notice that. Thank you for pointing that out. Let's see. How do I turn them into the moonstone? Let's go to the general and search the moon shard. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe combine them. I was just thinking that too. Oh, what is that? A pressure plate? Okay. Okay. That doesn't work. It doesn't work if they're all in a line. Did I, I? Yeah, I just tried that. What if I put nine of them together? No? What about this? Hmm. How does this work? Try a two by two. Hey! Genius! I don't know why I didn't think of that. You're thinking. You're thinking. Thank you, Doomsmitter. Or, no, that was Rain. Thank you, Rain. 
fucking genius there. Okay. So we need some more moon shards, which are right over here. Let's light up this fucking place. These stalactites on the ground. Upside down cave. Now, can we make a torch? No. Okay. What can we make with the moonstone? It's not telling me any ingredients. It says it's a light. A crystal variation found in some caves. Special, like the sunstone crystal does, but it does look rather pretty. So if I hold it, it doesn't emit light. Let's put the torch out of my offhand. Okay. If I hold it, it emits light. Can I place it down? <gasps> okay. Hey, look at that. It just works like that. And if I mine it, I get it back. Look at that. Beautiful. Minecraft. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Jackson. <laughs> I think if you press U or E on them, you can see the recipes. Yeah, I wanted that to be my last option, though. Because I wanted to see if I could find out how to use it through the uh, the book that it comes with. Is this dirt? Or what is this? Oh, it's a leaf, I think. No, I think that was dirt. Can you turn them into blocks? Um... I'm not sure, actually. I have nine, so I could see if the recipe works. Yes, I can. I got a block of moonstone. That would be a pretty useful block up on the on the surface. What's up, homie? How you and everyone else doing? I'm doing all right. You know, moved into a new apartment. It's uh, it's been a very nice time living with my girlfriend and uh. I'm, I also got a friend I'm living with. It's, it's been pretty chill. My job hasn't been too bad. Just a little bored at my job. School has been pretty easy. Just falling behind, even though it's easy. But you know how it is. I ain't doing too bad. I'm actually doing pretty, pretty well. Which is really nice. Hoping I get my new job. Oh, Rain, did you apply for that? fencing place that Sloan works at friend he lives with is not real ah he's real man trust me come on man he's real I think I think he's real <laughs> what no dude no everyone's doing pretty alright yeah Polymer place. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you have the... Do you have the ability to get to Boise every day? Oh, that's where I came from. That's right. How do I... It is a very far drive. Oh, wait, no. I came from over here. There's some more stone over here. Ooh, and there's another cave entrance over here, too. Wait, no, there's not. Even if I didn't have the means, I would try to buy a car for it. Yeah, that's so, right. Well, how, how much does it pay? Does it pay all right? Because I couldn't afford the payment and my insurance with rent money that with that kind of pay. Okay, cool. They will take a big cut as they can from you, and it's just scammy sometimes because... Spanning from 20 to 50. Wait, hold on, what? Is it a commission job? It's not a commission-based job. Yeah, so what do you do? You make $20 an hour? That'd be insane. That'd be really good. Um, how are you doing, Jackson? I don't want to want to ask you how you're doing too. 
It's been a while. Nope, I'm working on Amazon packing machines. Anywhere from 20 to 50. Hmm. So you're like repairing the machines or what? Due to prior experience? Yeah, I, I'd think so. I think that's how it works. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this cave. I want to mine this stalactite, see if I get anything from it. Just dripstone. And I can make stone with it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll make stone. Can always use stone. Repairs, maintenance. That's pretty cool. Or are you just hoping to get the $20 and then grow from there? I mean, $20 is pretty good. That's pretty good pay. Even with that, that drive, I mean, it's still really good. Damn it. Damn it. Why am I so bad at this game? <laughs> Alright. Still above ground. Oh, the mountain is so high. Whoa. Don't mind my armor in the, in the lens. Whoa. Look at that structure. That's sick as hell. Dude, this place is gorgeous. Oh man, I want to go up there. <laughs> That's cool. First, I have to climb this mountain. Jesse, we got to make crystal meth in Minecraft. Hey. Already ahead of you. Let's see. <sighs> I had to... I had a run-in with the cops for making the meth, and it's the reason why I had to go to the Everdawn, but... Hey. As you know, they ain't gonna find me here if I come here, break the portal. They don't have a way in here, but, you know. You know how it is. Um, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> it's based off of prior experience. Wait. If you ever get close to a $50 an hour point, you would be making 100 k a year. Dude, $50 an hour sounds fucking awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's based off of prior experience, but like, they said they would train me and supply tools too. That's fucking sick, actually. That, that sounds awesome. Don't mind the little dude in the eyeglass, Brando killed a small dude and trapped him into the eyeglass. No, I- what? No, dude, I didn't do that. That was- he lives there for, um, for fun. Yeah. That's, uh, Jimbo. Jimmy the man. He likes to live in the the spyglass for fun. Ain't that right, Jimbo? <laughs> you shut the fuck up and don't you ever embarrass me in front of my chat ever again. All right. Hey, look at, uh... Dude, this forest looks so cool in this view. Portal's right there. I got a waypoint for it. So right over there on that stream, across that stream, it looks like the amount of magic cards you will buy. Now that's true. But the little guy in the sun... He'll be fine. He'll come back. Don't worry, he's not dead. <laughs> um, money has to go into my savings. That's true. That's true. You gotta save up, my man. Always good to save. Damn, this place is pretty as fuck. 
We've only encountered one hostile mob too, so it seems pretty um, peaceful here. A lot more peaceful than the overworld so far. It's a lot of floating islands too. I want to visit those. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't cry. He'll be fine. Little, little Jimbo will be okay. I'm just tired of poor maxing. That's so true. That's so true, dude. Me too. I've been using my credit card <laughs> lately because I just don't have money. Hi, Trevor. Welcome back. We are st we're still in the Everdawn. And I'm climbing this mountain. Is stone paper made of stone? Yeah. Why else would it be called stone paper, silly? Of course. What do you think? What do you think stone paper is made out of? Oh, saw my life flash before my eyes there. <laughs> Look at that place. That looks cool. Look at that mountain. make stone like that how do they make paper like that dude how do they make paper out of wood huh something okay so there's a little stream right there across that stream there's planes i have yet to go through those planes but i think throughout those planes there might be a camel and in this world, you can domesticate camels, which, and ride them. And I really want to do that. I think that'd be sick. Damn, I can't see that far. <laughs> Why did I want to climb this mountain? If, if I didn't have that big of a render distance, I wasn't going to see shit, huh? <laughs> but... Climbing this mountain has gotten me closer to these floating islands. And there might be something like a rare ore on these islands. There just might be something here. Dude, look at those trees, dude. Those are all trees. I was down there. Isn't that cool? Jump? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna jump. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do it. That wasn't even my intrusive thought. Don't be suicidal. <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, baby. Baby's first floating island. Hey, the foxes are here. The hell are you doing up here? How do you live up here? There's no food up here. <laughs> oh, wait. Could I get something? Gorp? <laughs> I'm going to gorp off of this tree. Is this a cherry tree? Because those... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Those have a unique property in its wood. Nope. It's a dusk sapling. It's limestone and organic plastics. But it is stone. <laughs> Sounds like it's stone to me. What did the book say about... Dusk. Ever dawn. The the stick types, right? Or was that in the general? It was in general. 
What did it say about dusk? Uh, oh shit. Frostbite and maple are dense. Starlit and dusk are the light ones. So I should make a spear out of starlight and, and out of the, the sticks that I just got. Incredibly useful tools designed to hurt targets from afar. These function as a mix of overworld trident and bow, being cheap to make and usable underwater. I found spears make may be enchanted with things such as loyalty and piercing. Oh, so if I make a spear, it'll come back to me? Even like if I just make a normal spear? Interesting. How do I make such a thing? Oops. Maybe. So I need to use the dawn's, the dusk stick. Let's go to the backpack. I'm guessing a spear would be something like this, right? Hmm. Maybe try this. Diagonal. Hmm. That's an axe. The sticks. Yeah, I got the sticks diagonal. <laughs> try that. Nope. Okay. Let's type this one in. <laughs> I'm probably never going to find it out. The spear. Ooh. Okay, we want to make a dusk spear. I need a moon shard. Oh, okay. It appears that moon shard is important. Good thing I got some. It does 8.8 attack damage. How much does this go? A lot more. <laughs> this one does 7. So it does more damage than my katana. Alright. We got a spit. What happened to its head? What happened to its head? It, it's just a stick. <laughs> it has range, dorks. Let's throw it. What happens if I throw it? Whoa! I thought the book <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, they may be like I can enchant them with that. God damn it. <laughs> I thought it auto enchanted. I thought it had that property in it. <laughs> bye bye spear. Bye oh Bye, Spear. See you later. <laughs> God damn it. What's over there? Well, I'm making another spear. <laughs> I wonder if I can stack spears. Nope. I just made two spears. <laughs> All right. Interesting. So is it only a ranged weapon? SpongeBob disappointment sound effect. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that? <laughs> you like you like the You can get gloves to and you can get gloves and brass knuckles for uh, a melee build, like a fist build. It's pretty cool. I have some back at the house. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Let me get some more of this dusk wood. All right. <clears throat> what is over there? That structure looks interesting. Oh, it's probably just another floating island. I want to travel across islands, but it's a little difficult when you can't fly. <laughs> Or glide. I wonder what's over there. That looks like a unique plant. Hmm. Yeah, there's probably something interesting over there. There could be something interesting in this canyon, too. Oh my god. My stomach just went into my Ooh, my stomach just went into my chest, dude. Ooh. That was scary. Your demise. I hope my demise isn't over here, because that's where I'm going. Alright. It's okay. We're chilling. Boxes are chilling. Got some plants. Kill the dogs. No, I'm not going to kill the fucking foxes. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I don't care if you're mad about that. They're just chilling. I'm in their world. I'm a guest. <laughs> hmm. They called you not cool and a poopy head. Well, that's rude of them to say that to their guests. I don't know, though. This sounds like slander. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't take that. Well, it's a good thing you ain't here, huh? <laughs> yeah! Ooh, made that. Are you? <laughs> I can never lie, cheat, and steal. I don't know. <laughs> You won't cheat, but steal, uh, lie? Yeah, you, I mean, you might lie a little bit. <laughs> you played deducto with me. Yeah, you, uh, you crumble. First you lie, then we pick up that you're lying, and you crumble under pressure immediately without trying to give an alibi. <laughs> I just black out. That's true. Ooh, baby. What's that? Well, I'm climbing mountains. Building a bridge. Building a bridge. I fell asleep, what happened? <laughs> yeah, and then you gorp and fall over on the table and just fucking die. <laughs> before we've even convicted you, like, before we've even accused you of murder, or convicted you, we accuse you and you go, hey, you know what, it wasn't fucking worth it. I'm, It's over. I, it's so over for me. <laughs> me on Sunday? Now that's for true. That's definitely for true.
Sunday, you're a little sleepy bear. Hmm. Oh my god. Dude, this dimension's so cool. You <laughs> were up at six. This song is cool. Eat a gummy worm? They're over in the kitchen. I can run over to the kitchen and grab one. <laughs> you want me to do that? <laughs> Let's look right into the sun. <laughs> Oh shit, there's the moon. This... This dimension is so cool. It's forever dawn. That's so sick. Typical eclipse watcher. Guys, the eclipse! The eclipse is here! Oh, let's... Um, let's... The eclipse is happening! Oh my, oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Dude, quick, quick! Get a look at the sun! Ah! 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 <laughs> I gotta be quiet. It's quiet hours. <laughs> um. This is supposed to be a chill stream. <laughs> Google search why do my eyes hurt? I can't find the toolbar or the search bar. I want to make it to those. I definitely don't have enough blocks to get over there, though. I don't see anything on these floating islands. They'd be really cool to live on. But I just don't see anything here. Make a jetpack. I should. Um, I do have cre- <laughs> With a machine gun. Hey. Now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. That sounds like a genius plan, Rain. Fucking genius. What the hell is going on down there? There's lava? Oh shit, wait, hold on, we found a cave. Gotta make my way down this mountain. Dude, this is so pretty. Look at this fucking place. Look at it. It's awesome. Jetpack joyride type of shit. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why. Hold on. If I... No, not music and sound. Video settings. Why is... I'm scared to change the, shader, the, 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 the shaders and have the game crash, so... Look at this. This is fucking cool. It's gorgeous. Well, I'm taking a screenshot. What is it, F4? F3? Oh, it's not F3. F2? It's F2. Look at that, dude. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to take another one. It would never crash. Yeah, Minecraft is the most optimized game. <laughs> dude, this world is so cool. F2. There we go. All right, baby, let's go exploring. Let's go to that cave down there. 
God, I wish I had a jetpack with a machine gun tied to it. it. Would make this so much easier. I want this tree. There's more dusk log. More of that there dust log there. He's spitting. Thank you. <laughs> Got that idea from the true unmaker. <laughs> See my map loading in chunks? All right. Look at this flower. Another night crest. Dude, these night crests are sick. I love the way they look. Ooh, my ring light just flickered. Nothing in here. I can't wait to launch my spear at something soon. Does he use it, you know? <laughs> Where do you think my first spear went? Where do you think that is right now? <laughs> some of these flowers. It seems like there are no monsters in this realm. There are monsters. You weren't here earlier, but there was um, a giant fly that was like two or three feet tall. It had, it, it like spit up fire. It was an intelligent monster. Here, let me show you it was an emberback. This guy. The Ty Hey, hey Tyler, what's up? Ty Tylorion. A fly, yeah, a giant fly. Or it's a beetle. It was a giant beetle that can fly. That's why I thought it was a fly. They they can be a challenge to fight without being aware. It's just a little fella. He's pretty big though. He's a big little fella, you know? He was like he's like 2 or 3 feet tall. <laughs> Bro, I kind of was for a second there. I tried to be peaceful because I didn't know if it was a hostile mob yet. And I walked up on him and he just fucking took flight. And then he took flight towards me and then he landed on the ground, spit fire and caught me on fire. And then he took flight again. It was pretty sick. He's a pretty cool bug. Um, and they're smart too. So what this says is if you... Take care of these bugs. Yeah. So if you take, you mustn't let the beast take you. I won't. Trust me. Trust me. I didn't. I killed the beast. I slayed the beast before it could even... No, it laid a hand on me. Before it could take my life, I took its. <laughs> um. um I, don't, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> No, the the fly it like got the jump on me, um, because I thought it was a peaceful mob at first, but they're they're fucking smart because if you take a flame resistant potion, it will stop spitting fire at you, and it'll instead fly at you and bite you, go for a bite attack, and like do more rapid attacks instead of its main, um, instead of its main attack, which is the the fire. It's really cool. The great Lord Brando hath slay it with ease. That's right. That's right. Gun. Gun shoot. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I wonder why I can't see the... The spear. It's probably because of the shaders, huh? Pull out the blicky. Yes, sir. I got it in my... Got it in my hand right now. Okay. Let's put a waypoint here. 
Ooh. Oh, fuck. I wish I... I wish I had, like, a glow stick, like, in Terraria. <laughs> where I could, like... Throw it down there and see what's down there, you know? Add guns to Minecraft, and when a mob pulls up on you, just blow it away. Uh, I think there are guns in this mod pack that I have. I just have yet to make them i haven't gotten that far with the engineering side of this mod yet put the saplings in here and then the flowers why not put the flowers in there too there we go damn near full it works but hey it's worth a shot drop on the stones i mean we could try we could try to drop a one stone well that didn't work <laughs> but hey it was worth a shot just like you said let's put the torches in the bundle there we go we'll be using those soon I may be a little silly. I don't really have a way down. <laughs> I could mine down. Or I could jump. And one of those is a lot more fun. Ow! There we go. <laughs> that we got some red stones here the the red crystals Ooh, there's the lava i think i saw from earlier damn we got a lot of crystals here this is a pretty dark biome so <laughs> can you guys see my lord your ankles <laughs> i'm like crawling on the ground like, oh it's okay it's okay it is fall was nothing to my my power. My highness. My my highness. <laughs> my hiney. <laughs> this was nothing to my hiney. My lord has no gunpowder when he wields the legendary Dusk Spear. That's true. The Dusk Spear is... I mean, I don't even... It must hold a lot of power. I have yet to use it. Or it is too strong for this world. Hmm. Ooh. Damn, dude, we got a lot of cave. Before I lose where the entrance is, let's mark it. To be there. Cave. Save. Placed it right here. Okay, that's great. <laughs> and then let's place some stairs to the entrance. Oh. Well, it appears I'm a little stupid. That's <laughs> That's true. It was way too strong for this world. It's why I had to get rid of it. For even I cannot wield that sort of power. It is why I threw it off of a cliff. No man should ever have that sort of power. This is a mere replica of what was once a mighty weapon. My lord, your intellect is unfathomable. 
Thank you. But, well, my... Thank you. <sighs> oh. It brings me great joy. Throw it straight up and catch it. What if it gets stuck to the ceiling? Fuck. <laughs> I called it right before I did it. God damn it. Hey, but watch this. I made another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I meant outside. Well. I can do that. Let me eat some toast. A pox upon your... <laughs> <laughs> your unmaker. A pox upon you for your trickery. <laughs> Whoa! Well, it does have a durability. The realm with be covered in s the realm will be covered in sacred spears. How grand that would be! Oh my! What a splendid spectacle! <laughs> I can do the pops laugh pretty well. At least I think. <laughs> it's a well. Hold on. <laughs> a splendid spectacle! I can't really do his voice very well, but his laugh? Hey, you know what? I nailed that. <laughs> Is Gwen? I don't know who that is. Is that a is that a league character? The lords shall mar the world with his might. Yeah, that's true. That's for true. Yeah, that's true. The hell is that? A gravel? Oh my god. This place has so much of these stones. Gwen. I still don't know who that is. <laughs> is that this world's equivalent of gravel? Coarse lunar dirt. No, it's just it's just dirt, actually. <laughs> I think I just mined some of those because I'm fucking out of it. Ugh, it takes so many of them to make it. Here, I have an easier way of doing this. There we go. My lord could parry him with ease. The first lord of flame. <laughs> Speak no more of Gwen, heretic. <laughs> what? He was the first... First lord of flame. I don't know. I don't remember this character. Why do I not remember him? Listen. Elden Ring has a different parry system than than Sekiro, okay? I have an excuse. I don't like the parry system in Elden Ring. It's the same as Dark Souls. He shattered the ring with the Eld with ease unknown. I shattered the Elden Ring with the Dusk Spear. The original. The original. Before stream even started, long ago in the lands between, I took the Dusk Spear, the Dusk Spear, and shattered the Elden Ring. <laughs> you like that? You like that little rhyme? I can parry but can't. Fuck you, pal. <laughs> Different system. 
Different system, different rules. Your power is immense, my lord. Thank you. Thank you. It brings me great pleasure to be in a court with you... With you fine folk. I do be just in a mine, huh? <laughs> just in a mine with a different- Oh my fucking god, that stalactite scared the hell out of me. What sizable assets, my lord? Ooh. This place is so dark. What does it look like on your guys' point of view? Because... Minecraft, when it gets picked up through OBS and Streamlabs, typically looks a little darker than what I'm seeing. So can you guys even see this dimension? Dark. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I know that. But, like, how much of it can you see? Your light shows me the way, my lord. Oh, well, thank you. Shows me the way, too. Fucking blind. <laughs> I just landed on a stalactite. I think I see water droplets. Nope. Imagining things. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna sit. Sit up. Here. Oh, yeah. Let's get comfy. Hold on. Ah, there we go. You guys, I've been getting really into Melee recently. I love Melee. Smash Melee. I've been, uh... I wasn't imagining things. There's water here. I've been playing Slippy online. Rain, you should play it with me sometime. Rain, let's play Slippy together sometime. Slippy's so fun. Slippy's so fun. The foul wenches are nowhere to be seen because they feel your presence. That's true. I haven't seen a hostile mob in a while. This is a very um peaceful environment. Don't pull a Kevin. I'd win. No, I listen, I fully admit that I am very bad at melee. I'm I'm horrible. But but it's fun. And I li I like the game. I think it's a very fun game. My main, if you wanted to know, is Falco. I like the way Falco feels. It's very fun to play. Um, whoa, big spike there. Although I should try other... I don't like stomping you guys, though. Listen, I don't think I've ever fought you in melee before. So, I, I mean, I'd be willing to at least give it a shot. Probably not... Probably on Slippy, though, because um, I don't have a good controller for the GameCube right now. I need to get a better one. The one that I have right now is very uh, bad. Yeah, It's not like bad in terms of like unusable. It's just really small and hard to like do fast mechanics on or fast uh, inputs on it. Like it's really hard to short hop with it. My friends play S tier champs. Listen. Falco is a proper choice for being so high as you, my lord. Hey, thank you. Thank you. See, he gets it. At least he gets it. <laughs> Make sure not to cleanse the power away from you by showering. Thank you for the reminder, my man. Hey. Will do. What the fuck? Oh, it's just world generation. Is it? Yeah, it's just world generation. It's not loaded yet. I don't think there's anything of note down there. I think all of the ore in this dimension glows.
get some of this. Well, except for these, I guess. But they're still pretty easy to spot. Make sure, um, as it... Oh, fuck. As it was said, no Johns. No, it's not a John. Look, I'll show you my controller in real life. It's tiny. <laughs> Literally, it's it fits in one hand. It's it's a tiny controller. And it's hard to play the game with. Because the buttons are so small. Hey man, are you using a mod pack or did you just grab a bunch of mods that you like? I grabbed a bunch of mods that I like. Okay, so here's how this worked. My friend June made a server a few months ago. And... Uh, she installed a bunch of mods separate individually that she thought would be cool. I took the server files, the server mods, duplicated the profile, and then I added something like maybe 50 more mods or something like that. I added a shitload of mods. So I individually went through and uh, um, downloaded, I went through a bunch of mods, I watched a bunch of videos of mods that I thought would look cool, and I installed around 90, almost 100, I think I have 99 mods installed individually. It's it's pretty crazy how many how much I, I have going on in this world. And I've only scratched the surface. I haven't even seen the alchemist yet. I've just been mining in the caves. I could probably live here. You know? So much work. Yeah, I just spent a day doing it, dude. Or a couple of days, actually. Because I really wanted to play like a cool world in Minecraft. Booted up this one and... Never went back. This this world is very fun. Whoa! Oh, fuck. New rock! New rock! Oh, oh, oh. New rock! New rock! <laughs> does this mod pack have a space mod? It does not, I believe. But we have so so many dimensions in this mod. I even have the Aether. I haven't been to it yet. This is the first dimension I've been to in this mod pack. But the Aether is a part of this mod. Or this 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 pack that I've created. Holy shit, dude. What is this red stuff? Red brick. Red br red reddick. <laughs> You're playing it after putting in the effort. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of people that will put in the effort into a project and not even go through with it wait where am I blind where is it did I is this it is it umber get me a fancy rat I don't think I could do that <laughs> Get this wretch rat. Well, you know what? In due time, if you, you're a good boy. The Umqua Bank. Hey, you know what? Let's build the Umqua Bank when I've got a train system set up. All right. Um, what was this called? Yippee! Umber. Uh, let's type in Umber. Umber. There it is. A smooth brown stone. This could probably be polished into even smoother building material. That's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Made a mod pack this spring and my tired ass accidentally installed a virus? Bro, how did you do that? No. Oh, I'm sorry, man. How did you deal with that? Did you, like... Were you able to catch the virus in enough time? Like, how did you... I, I'm, I'm curious. How did you fight the virus? Did you take it to, like, a shop? Or were you able to use, like, antivirus software? What did you do?
dog-sized rats. See, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Little funny and cute. <laughs> I'd take a dog sized rat. You know, a dog sized rat is like the. That's just the little guy in the Germa. In the Germa video. That's the big rat that makes up all the rules. Who knows what kind of trouble he'll get himself into? Sick. Oh, that's practically a cappy. Yeah, actually, that's basically a cappy. Lord protect from such beast. Yeah, but a cappy bara is um is peaceful and cool. <laughs> oh shit! I need to make another pickaxe. Uh, what was the wood that was good for tools? It was the dense wood. I think it was this one, the dusk. They are cappies. Baloney? <laughs> What is Aluni? How was my doofin' smirch? Was it good? Did you like that? <laughs> dusk. Uh let's look at dusk real quick. Oops. Stick. More interesting, frostbite and maple are heavy tools. Oh, okay. Dusk is the one for the spear. Okay, so I need the maple sticks. Of which I have one. Wait, what is this one? Lunar. Uh, what was lunar? Frostbite and maple. Wait, which ones are lunar? It, I can't read. Hold on. Making them harder to throw, but they are more durable. And dusk. What? Starlet and dusk. One more stick type. Cherry. Am I blind? Oh, yes. I am fucking blind. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so blind. Uh... Let's see here. What is this? Bundle? Go to the three stick, please. Thank you. That's the lunar. That's dusk. That's the maple. I might need... I might be able to make... A maple stick out of these? Yeah, there we go. And then we can make a pickaxe out of these. Ooh, wait, hold on. I forgot. Pyrite, right? Let's look at pyrite real quick. Pyrope, I mean. Pyrope. What is this used for again? It seems tools created from such a material are very light, so I can use them very fast. These tools don't seem to be very durable, though, so I'd rather use them with caution. Okay. Right, so these aren't good for tools. Um, what is good for tools, though? Can I make tools with moonstone? Did I already try that? I can't remember. Shit. Oops. 
Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, let's just make more stone tools. It said it glows. It doesn't though. <laughs> yeah, actually you're right. It just says the fucking stick glows. Can't craft it with anything. What is in here? Get out of here. A tool of legend. Is there stone pickaxe? The lunar stone pickaxe. That's right. The tool of legend. And there's nothing over here. <laughs> Just like the... Oh my god! <laughs> that was fucking terrifying! <laughs> I... It like lagged and I, I just fell almost to my death. Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh... I hit the gritty for a little. I may be back. Oh, well, I hope you come back, my man. <laughs> I saw another ore over here. Look at that. I, ho I hope to see you soon, Raid. The foul water shall be hung from treason. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. The water helped. Genuinely, I pr I might have died if the water wasn't there. So the water was a helpful, helpful ally. The water did no wrong. No wrong. <sighs> there we go. God damn it. Okay. Just gotta mine it like this. Alright. The Aquite. Now, what can the Aquite do? This aqua blue mineral seems to be similar to the overworld's iron. When it comes to tools and armor, after some experimentation, it does seem very enchantable on top of that. Okay. So, I need to get more of this shit. I need some fucking iron. <laughs> some aquable. I wonder if it's just called that because of its color, or if it is called that because it spawns near water under caves. I like this music. Better not be any dark elves down here. Whoa, hey man, chill out. <laughs> Listen, what are they called in? Oh shit, what are they called in D and D? Um, drows. There isn't any filthy drows down here, okay? <laughs> I'm not even sure if they're in this dimension. <laughs> Better not be any fucking. Dark elves, daddy. Like, whoa, oh my god. Filthy drow. <laughs> Jesus, man, chill the fuck out. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, it's toast time. see baby it's me chat 
some more. Beautiful day. A beautiful day in the Everdawn. My lord, I... Absequence? <laughs> Your forgiveness. You are forgiven. You are forgiven. You are a fine gentleman. Just went a bit out of reach. Just don't do it again. Or else you'll get the Dusk Spear. To the balls. To your jingles. Hmm. I wonder... Whoa. I expect. These dark elves bring out the worst of me. <laughs> And you make it sound so much worse when you say it like that. <laughs> oh. I mean, uh, uh, gray elves. No, that, I mean... <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think the color is that bit of an issue. I think it's the phrasing that you're saying and, and the tone. <laughs> Elves of darkness. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what are you going to say next? The colored elves? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I need to get rid of one of these maps. No, don't say that. <laughs> not say that that is that is fucking elf racism I wonder what happens when I mine in battle mode combat mode nothing really <laughs> just mines like normal Nothing like the Lordy High Elves. Well, I mean, the High Elves are, you know, they are pretty great, I would say. Classy. Cool. <laughs> I have a Dark Elf friend. <laughs> I have a friend that's a Dark Elf. I can't be Elf racist. Great, another dead end. Or is it? Would you look at that? Another area. Ripe for the explore. Is that a creature or a stalactite? Stalactite. We're fine. Damn, this shit is everywhere. Oh. Shit. More to explore. Ooh. Some red ore over here. I'd have to use a block to get up there. Use the umber. Caught you off guard, didn't I? <sighs> Some more eliminated stone here. Some moonstone. Let's see if I can. Whoa! Whoa, I could see part of the cave like this. Okay. Let's make sure this area is lit up.
Damn, it is hard to see in this dimension. Hmm. Why well, be traveling in <laughs> combat mode? What just happened? Did I have water drip on me? Oh, <gasps> more, uh, more of the azulite. Right over here. Ow! Hold on, I need to make sure I have a... Oh my god, I missed some Azulite. Make sure I have a proper way up. I can't believe I missed that. How silly of me. Dude, I can't wait to make an Azulite pickaxe. probably going to be super fucking powerful in this dimension. Your otherworldly eyes haven't yet adjusted, my lordship. That's true. Thank you. Thank you for the the reminder. Just need to spend a couple more years in this dimension and my eyes will adjust. As is the Oh, I, I think I have enough. Okay, um, what was the... Shit, I forget every time. What's the wood for good tools? Maple. Maple is for tools. Here it is. Eh, I need to make ore, don't I? Okay. How do I smelt it? Can I just do it in a furnace? A quite. Yeah, I guess I just do it in a furnace. So, let's get a furnace. Get a furnace going. I think the gemstones power a furnace. So... Get this up. There we go. Let's see here this here and then we do the gemstones no what about the moon shard what wait what did I read that could be used to smelt did I have? Oh, I was looking at Horizonite? Interesting. I know not how to read these foreign scribbles, my lord. That's okay. I'll read it to you eventually. <laughs> hmm... I don't know. Horizonite. A Horizonite Forge. Okay. But what can I use for the Modpack virus story? I gotta type it in multiple messages because of the character limit. That's okay. I'd still love to read it. Um. Hmm. 
Sunstone. Oh, it was the Sunstone crystal that I wrote, that I read. Well, fuck. What do I use for the, for this? Can't use that. I do have, hey, I do have coal on me. Can I use coal? Yes, I can. So I went to reinstall Morge on my Forge on my new computer, and I fell for the fake download by accident. Yep, that'll fucking get you. My tired ass just thought they just changed the Forge installer. So I go ahead and install this Forge launcher and notice there's no pop-up window saying that the installation finished. After trying to install it a couple more times, I start to get suspicious. I start to get the feeling I fucked up, so I scan the software and, uh, uh-oh, I made a fucky wucky and a downloaded a Trojan. I start panicking and get my antivirus to delete all traces of the virus off of the computer. Fortunately, the virus didn't manage to spread outside of the initial download. Unfortunately, my computer kept telling me I didn't have permission to delete the download. I start to get a little shit in my britches here because there's not supposed that's not supposed to happen. I'm the owner of the computer. Who am I supposed to contact? God? <laughs> so I spend the next hour finding ways to get permission to delete my own download. And after I found a way to delete it, I spent the rest of the day rescanning my computer in paranoia, hoping the delete method worked. I didn't even get to play the mod pack that break because of all of the troubleshooting I had to do. Not just the virus thing, but I mean like the overall mod pack. <laughs> Fuck, man. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through that. But, hey. You were fast to act, and that's good. You knew what to do, you acted on it, and for that, you know, that deserves some praise. So good job, man. There's some people that wouldn't have been able to catch that. And even though you were tired as fuck, and I don't blame you for clicking the the bad, the other download button, because I probably would have fell for it too. I think a lot of people would. It probably gets so many people, but... Yeah, don't don't feel bad about that. I'm happy you caught it in enough time. I Oh, it's 11:30. I have been so bad at doing school. <laughs> my my school this week was pretty easy, but Damn, I am struggling to do school, you know? Ooh, we got Aquite. Quite the boost. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to go through that, man. I hope you can play your little mod pack soon. And that you stay in the Minecraft mood enough to do it. Because that just sucks. I know how much effort it takes to do all that stuff. And then the fucking, you gotta figure out how to boot up Minecraft correctly and do all of that junk and, oh, that that's the worst. Arcs. Oh, there's the arc button. Okay, that's what the arc is. Okay, I saw that earlier and I was wondering what the arcs were. But it's in this dimension. A food prep table. Interesting. I'll look at that later. I don't have any food. <laughs> Um, Aquite. What about Aquite Ore? Does it tell me anything about that? Nope. Nope. Alright, cool. Didn't you get some help for ADD or something of that nature? No. <laughs> um, I do have an appointment with a psychiatrist next week to talk about my ADHD. Um, but it's very, it's very, uh, 
nice that you remembered that though. So thank thank you for asking. No, 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 you're not dumb. You're not dumb. It's very thoughtful that you remember that in the first place, so thank you. You know, I'm I'm not fucking I'm not in your life all the time, so it's very thoughtful that you remembered that I have ADHD <laughs> and that I was looking for treatment, you know. I have the same thing going on, so it's easy to remember. Cool. Well, I hope you, if you want treatment, I hope you can find it pretty easily. Because this stuff can suck sometimes, you know. Why does this, this lava looks different. Is it magma? Hold the fucking phone. Also, the Aquite pickaxe looks sick, and I like it. <laughs> it's like a lighter blue diamond, and I dig it a lot. I think it's cool. There we go. Pale blue goes hard. Exactly. It looks sick. And there's a lot more of it down here. Fuck yeah. Score! <laughs> oh, fellas. What are we going to do? Do you see that? There's vines growing in these caves? Purple vines. Dirt. <laughs> Some more aquite. Did I find an underground biome? Holy shit, dude. This cave is huge. Absolutely massive. Some more aquite over here? Fellas, I've been uh, I've been rewatching Avatar: The Last Airbender. I've been binging that shit. I watch it on my break. Oh. I watch it on my break at work. I watch it on my, or I watch it on my lunch at work. I watch it the moment I make my breakfast in the morning. Sip my coffee. Eat my egg sandwich. I um dig this show i dig this show dude it's so so incredibly good avatar the last airbender is one of the best shows i think of like all time i i just finished season one recently yo same that's fucking awesome dude Smith. we're the same we're connected we're the same person no but um i i it's it's incredible how well written that show is i just finished season one recently and it wow dude there's so many things after already seeing um the entire show re-watching it um it, i mean it's been a few years since i've seen it so i don't remember a lot of the like details in every episode but i still remember the big story beats and it's crazy how much foreshadowing is in every episode. And it's crazy how... Uh, hold on. It's crazy how much foreshadowing is in each episode. And it's crazy how many things they set up in the first season. And still give you a like deserving payoff while setting things up. I mean, General Zhao, General Zhao, Zhao, is that how you say it? Uh, in the first season, at the end of the, uh, not the end, at the beginning of the last episode, 
he mentions that he finds a scroll within a underground library. Uh, and this, and, and there's even a shot of him reading the scroll in the library. And for those of you who've seen the show, that library is, is in season two. Um, and it's like a super important part of the, of the lore. And it's like fucking, it's fucking awesome. It's so cool to hear about this thing in season one. And, and, um, bossing say is constantly referenced and I didn't realize it until my second watch through of how important bossing say really was. And it's like. Damn, man, it's it's so cool how much they build up in the first season and it still feels like they give you a a good reward even though the first season is so much build up, you know? Like a lot of things struggle to do that to give a a proper build up for the rest of the series while also um like hinting at the rest of the series while also showing while also paying the viewer off you know and rewarding them for for watching and listening and shit you know it's it's cool it's a good show um all the characters are so likable um and i'm on season two right now do you think they had the whole thing planned out yes i do i genuinely there's there's like two main types of like a. Uh, and then we got the Netflix version. I haven't seen it. It doesn't look good. I don't want to watch it. I watched a uh, Drew Gooden's video about it. And you know what? I'm good. Don't think I need to watch it. <laughs> I'd rather watch Cowboy Bebop with my girlfriend. <laughs> but do you think they had a planet? So like when making a story there's like a couple different ways of of creating your narrative, of writing out your narrative and presenting it to the viewer, right? There's one way uh, called like the planner or whatever, where you plan out the entire thing before you start, before you put your pen on the paper to make the finished product. You make the entire plot before you write the story. That's what I think they did with Avatar. I think those guys are planners. Also, can I step on this? Oh, I can step on it. Okay, cool. Um, there's also like fucking shitters or whatever that make the story up as they go. I think Avatar, the people who made that show were planners. You can tell from the very beginning that everything was planned out. It it feels so tight and and just nice to watch. I love the Netflix version. I haven't seen the normal show yet. You're kidding. You're ki you're kidding right now. You're joking. Because what? No, you're fucking joking right now. You you are joking. You're fucking with me. The the cartoon, the original Avatar is so good it's it's a fucking damn near a masterpiece i do have one complaint with the the show so far on my rewatch and it's that um i'm gonna make a stone pickaxe so i don't use this up it's that uh You're kidding. Thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was having a meltdown. My biggest complaint so far is that they wrote Zuko's story in season two too well. They just made it too enticing, bro. <laughs> Zuko and Iroh's story in season two is so goddamn good to me that I... I just, I almost get bored if, like, in a lot of episodes, they split their time up between the two parts. There's an A plot and B plot. If Zuko, if Zuko's plot is in that episode, I'm like, damn, uh, 
kind of can we stop watching Angs so I could go back to this guy? <laughs> I don't know. That's I mean I'm on the fourth episode, fourth or fifth episode right now. I'm still pretty early into it, but that's how I feel right now about it. Um, I I'm just so like the the plot with Ang isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It's just that Zuko like the plot with Ang is still really good. It's just that Zuko and Iroh's plot, their episodes, bro, I, they got me by the fucking neck. I gotta watch more. The TV grabbed me by the neck and pulls me in every time Zuko's on screen. I love it. I love it so much. Like, I've only seen a snippet of Iroh getting buff in prison. Oh, that is, um, that's season three. That's that's not season two, but that is good too. Um, ooh, season three is so good. Ooh, I can't wait to get back on season three. Have you seen all of? Have you seen all of Avatar? Cause it ooh, it gets good, brother. Good. That's all I've seen of Avatar. No way, that's all you've seen? Brother. Ooh, Avatar, The Last Air... I'm telling you, bro. One of the best shows ever made. It's so good. The, um... The beginning can be a little bit childish. Like a little, you know, not like in a bad way. It's just... It starts out really goofy and fun, but as the series goes on, it gets more serious. It still retains the goofy and funness of it. Like it, it's still a really fun, like little goofy show, but when the serious shit hits, it hits hard and it's, ooh, it's good. Sorry, I, I just, I love this show so much. I didn't... I, I want an Appa plush, bro. Appa's so cool. And also... Hey, you know what? While I'm on the topic of Avatar... You heard that, right? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, I got my spear readied. What the fuck? Did it die because of the lava? That was terrifying. Oh my god. I'd say book one has aged the most out of the three. That's not saying much since book one is still an enjoyable watch. Dude. I don't even think it's aged that much. Like, I, you're, you might be right, but holy fuck, book one is still so good to me. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible how good this show, I mean, maybe also I love it. I love it a lot because I, I have a very big fondness for like well-written things. Like I like to try to understand how someone would write something and like see the techniques in writing a show or writing a story. I think it's like, I think it's just interesting to me to try and um, pick apart a narrative and avatar is just beautiful. It's, it's so well-crafted. It's insane. Um, but yeah, a, a book one is the goofiest of them so far like the silliest the most lighthearted and as the series goes on it gets more and more serious are you going to school for literature actually kind of i mean my um i'm going to school for like media production um video and audio production journalism um creative writing so i i guess so yeah I mean, I like to write things, and I like to read stories and understand stories. I think it's interesting. 
So, um, technically, no, I don't think so. Epic. Yeah. I'm going to school. Okay. One of the reasons I started going to school is because I thought that getting a media degree and taking classes in media production would help me make better videos for YouTube because YouTube has always been the thing that I've wanted to do no matter what uh, and even like <laughs> even if I get a job making like fucking movies uh, big movies even if I get a job making the next avatar I'd still make YouTube videos. It's just the thing that I like to do. Um, and if YouTube can, whoa, green, green, green ore, green ore. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. New ore, new ore. Um, if YouTube could become my job at some point, uh, I, I'd, I'd achieve my dream. You know, that'd be crazy. That'd be a crazy reality, and I'd hope for it to become reality, but I don't know. Life always takes you in ways that you never expect, you know? Green, I know, dude, we found the weed. Holy fuck. We gotta get down here. Let's take a peek at this weed, brother. The Dio, the Diop, Diopside gem. The Diopside gem. Okay. The Diopside gem. Is there any others around here? The green! Dio. Dio. Ho. Ho. Nukata Kurunaka. No, I'm not gonna be cringe. <laughs> no. I, I watched all of my older videos. Whenever I start talking about JoJo, I start being cringe. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> That was good. Thank you. <laughs> I have, um, for Christmas one year, I asked my mom to get me the DVD of the, so part three of Jojo, the anime was split up into two different parts because it was so long. So, um, I asked her to get me the second part of Jojo because that's the one with the Jotaro and Dio fight and that's the one where they're in Egypt, which is like the best part of part three. But anyways, um, what does Diopside do? Diopside. <laughs> wait, wait, what did you say? All I heard was a robot saying, I need no, ch I need more chips. No joke. Wait, when did I say that? <laughs> did I say that? Did you say that? When did that happen? <laughs> I need more chips. <laughs> Golden Wind is the best arc. <clears throat> I like part five a lot. Part five is definitely one of my favorite parts. It was when you were freaking out about a mysterious voice. Oh yeah, because I fucking heard, I heard a thing. I forgot, I didn't forget that happened, but I just heard like, and that freaked me the fuck out, okay? I didn't hear any chips, any chips. Any more chips? <laughs> um, Golden Wind is the best arc. Yeah, part five is really good. Uh, that's one of my favorites in the anime. Uh, my favorite parts that were animated are Battle Tendency, which is part two. Diamond is Unbreakable, which is part four. And Golden Wind, which is part five. I also believe, uh, 
I think part five is probably the best animated part too. Like in terms of animation, it's it's very well animated. You could tell they spent a lot of money on part five. Yeah. So back to Diopside. Diopside. This spiky, almost crystalline shaped gemstone has a lime green color to it. I found it very deep underground in both worlds. The armor and tools created from this material are very durable and strong. The tools are very heavy and inflict extreme damage to anything I hit. Something to note though, due to their heaviness, they are much harder to swing than most tools. I'll have to be careful when dealing with fast targets. This set of gear competes with Charolite? Charoite? The weapons being slower but more durable and hard hitting alternatives. While the armor deals with heavier blows better than Charoite, tools made from this material can harvest everything I have discovered. Oh, the, gr the grow up a plan? <laughs> hey, Rain. Uh, we found some more ore and I got a little. I got a little guy. How do you re how do you remember that? Remember what? The Gerber? <laughs> we found some more ores, like a Zulite. And we got some uh, Diopside, which is what I assume to be this dimension's version of diamond. The Gerber grow up plan. Bro, we probably saw like a fucking TikTok of it or some shit. Was that an emerald? They have emeralds in this dimension? <laughs> oh my god, I'm finding a zoo a zoo light everywhere now. It appears that we've traveled to basically underneath the portal. You've gotten a lot farther than you should have, but then you haven't met Frank Horrigan either. He rides over there. What the fuck? I <laughs> I don't know what you're referencing. <laughs> Is there anything up here? Oh, can I climb this? Yay! Oh, hell yeah. Going back down. He's a funky fella. Awesome. <laughs> Rain, I gotta... We, we have delved very deep into these caves since you last saw. And I'm talking like... We're hella deep. <laughs> There's the entrance from where we've entered. And we are basically, we've made it almost back to the portal that we came through, which is insane. I can step on these, They're very bright. You cannot command the Lord Kerr. That's true. <laughs> That's for true. Delicious stone. Hey, what was I going to say about Avatar earlier? Oh, yeah! I will... Every time I watch Avatar, I just am reminded of how dirty they do the airbenders. Do the airbenders get sh fucking nothing? <laughs> Fire can bend fucking lightning? Lightning! Fi I Look at me. Firebenders can bend lightning. You know how insane that is? That's incredible. And firebenders can just summon fire with their hands. They don't need like uh, an element around them or a material around them, right? They just go fire. It's fucking crazy. 
I mean, in Korra, a guy can bend the air out of someone's lungs. Yeah, that, that that's what I was going to say. I, I've heard Korra likes to upgrade the, the bending a little bit. But, like, bro, to me? Oh, shit, I just hit the microphone. I'm sorry. Airbenders are the strongest benders. Hands down. I mean, a fire... Because they have what they need everywhere and dude ang creates a tornado and then never does it again or from what i remember at least um and firebenders need oxygen to create fire right just fucking airbenders just no more oxygen fuck you <laughs> or what if they could also fly but i heard there was the reason they can't fly in Avatar is because they, like, gave their ability to fly to the bison or something like that, right? They fused their souls with the bisons. Am I wrong about this? But, to, I mean, to me, they should be able to fly. <laughs> I put the vid music if you want to look at what I'm referencing. The vid and music. Is it copyrighted? <laughs> Did you see the live action Avatar movie? They gave Firebenders a ridiculous handicap in that. Wait, what's the handicap? They ain't pulling energy right out of the air. <laughs> what's the what's the handicap? I'm interested. What is it? But Dude, airbenders? I, I also had something else I had to say about airbenders, but I can't remember it. But bending the air out of someone's lungs, it's pretty fucking awesome. I think you could just, like, bend the air to the point where, like... You could just trap someone onto the ground, right? Just use a forceful enough wind to knock them off of their feet, and then just keep pushing wind onto their back. What are they going to do? I think the only people that could like f properly fight an airbender is fucking earthbenders. Because like if they put a wall up. Oh, <laughs> you're fucked, I guess. <laughs> they need a fire source to firebend. Oh, my God. That is sucks <laughs> just bring a torch with them dude that sucks the firebenders are so screwed how the fuck did they win <laughs> if you need to make fire in order to firebend those guys are useless <laughs> ain't no way the airbenders got wiped out by that <laughs> Yeah, this is your fucking torch. Airbenders could take an army of normal archers because their arrows wouldn't be able to hit them. Yeah. I mean, dude. A, a wall of wind just in front of the, the airbenders? The archers just... The, the arrows would just bend upwards. They just wouldn't be able to go through the wind. If it's strong enough. You know, like... <laughs> I think airbenders are just, like, nerfed to shit. And it's a good thing they made them pacif- I think it's cool that they made them, like, monks, pacifist monks. I think that's sick. Because if they didn't nerf airbenders and they made them, like, monks that are pacifists, I, I would have liked it so much more. But I still think it's cool. Airbending is my favorite. 
So I just think it's neat. You're using the in, the air around you to your advantage. That's so cool to me. <laughs> oh, also, we can see the air that they bend in the show. But if you were in that moment, you can't fucking see what they're bending. In every other bender, you could see what they're doing. Water, they lift the water off of the ground or off of the ground and they start bending it around, moving it around. Earth, you see rocks shoot up from the earth, right? And then fire, you see the fucking fire come out of their hand. Air? You ain't seeing that shit. You cannot see the air move. You just can't. You can see things react to the air moving, but You'll just be sitting there one day, and then... Like, oh, oh, fuck! Oh. Like, <laughs> you're just suddenly hit, you know? <laughs> like, airbenders have the best surprise attack. It's insane. They can ster steroid themselves by pumping in more oxygen. Imagine they put more oxygen into their fucking blood. God, airbenders are so cool. They were nerfed, man. Nerfed hard. <laughs> but I mean... Yeah. Airbenders are cool. I like the, the idea of airbending. <laughs> but it's like... You can make it so overpowered. <laughs> because it's fucking air. Oh. What's the opposite of plot armor? Uh, demolition, fucking plot TNT. <laughs> plot undressing, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, we have yet to see another creature. I feel like I'm playing on peaceful. Plot hanging with my nuts out. Something like that. I'm vibing with the umber. What can I do with this ore? With the cinder stone. Cinder stone. This magma-like stone could definitely be used as quite the building material. Are you fucking for real? I thought it was used as like... For a furnace. I thought it was used for a furnace, man. I can't use it? Hold on. Give me the furnace. God. It's just building material. That's so lame. Man. Fuck. <laughs> Open up the backpack. Furnace back in there. What's the uh what's the opposite of plot armor? Uh plot lingerie? <laughs> that was a good chat message. <laughs> the plot step brother? No, I <laughs> Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh man, I'm getting fucked by my plot stepbrother. <laughs> I sure hope plot mom and dad don't find out. Then I'll be in real big plot trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I saw the opportunity for a bit. <laughs> Damn, I've been in these caves for a while, huh? Starting to lose my fucking marbles. <laughs> Getting steamy here in Minecraft. Must be the lava. So true. It's all hot. Ooh. Ooh. It's hot in here, ain't it, chat? Ooh. Ooh. That stuff is woo. Steaming. Feel a little sweat. Whoa. Glazed up my hand there. I feel a sweat on my forehead. Wow. Get real hot in here. Oh, I want that Azulite. Lunar Cobblestone. Yep. Yippee. Or Aquite. That's what it's called. I keep calling it a Azulite. I bet you... My girlfriend fell asleep to the stream. <laughs> That's, that'd be so sweet if she did. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, there's more aquite over there. I don't know if I want to go for it, though. Oops. After I mine this aqua, I'm gonna go take a pee. Oh, I gotta take a potty break. I gotta piss. Okay, let me uh, let me get away from the lava real quick. Fuck! I should make a bucket. Oh, I have to pee. Nothing in here. I'll be right back. I gotta go pee real quick. Oh, fuck. Ah. Hold on, let me play a song. Silly little song. It's uh, taking a while. Oh my god. Hurry the fuck up. There we go. Risk of rain. I'll be right back.
lot lingerie. <laughs> it's red with a big <laughs> Oh no! Take it off! Take it off! What are you doing? Take off the lingerie right fucking now! I'll take it off of you myself! No! <laughs> Not like this! Not like this! <laughs> um, I actually had a bit that I was gonna do when I came in here, but I fucking I forgot. I was thinking too much about that. <laughs> The plot lingerie, that was that was just a really funny chat message. What do you what does it look like? You got any pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. You know, I was um I was playing my I I was so entranced into this game and into this live stream. I was so involved that when I walked outside of this room, this bedroom, I forgot where I was living. <laughs> I I just I thought I was going to see my old house. And I was like, "Whoa. This is not <laughs> Wait. This is not my house. <laughs> this is my apartment. Oh my god, I live in an apartment. It's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> you know? This game took you back in time. Dude, for real. It, it genuinely felt like that. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? This is not my house. <laughs> Where the hell am I? <laughs> Try entering and exit the room. See if you can warp back. That'd be cool. I should try that. <laughs> Later. Do you think that water leads anywhere? played VR for so long they try to walk with the post. <laughs> no, I can't say I have done that. <laughs> I actually can't play VR for that long because it gives me like these really big headaches. Which really sucks, but because I like VR, I think it's cool. The risk OST is royalty free. Oh shit, is it not? I thought it was, because it's on a video game. And I know, typically, that stuff isn't royalty-free. I mean, like Toby Fox, you can't do that. But I think the Risk of Rain authors are cool. <laughs> if you guys... Oh, so there is a little thing with Toby Fox, if you guys don't know. Um, does the headset make it so that you can't wear your glasses? Uh, no, I think it's just like, I don't know. I really don't know what it is. Maybe it might be, sorry, hold on. The Risk of Rain song is very loud. <laughs> it's good. I think, yeah, I'm not getting anything on stream here. Looks like we're okay for now. I think that uh, my issue with VR might be that 
Oh my god, Minecraft is playing music. Okay, hold on. Let's hear the Minecraft song before... Hold on. Hold on. Let's hear this. What does this sound like? So, I think the reason I might not be able to wear VR for very long might be because of the, like, eye strain from staring at the the screen that is so close to me. I don't know. Like, or maybe it's because it's, like, from the, gla the headsets that I've worn, it, like, smudges my glasses in a weird way that, like, warps how they... How I see through them. Um, for for example, the PSVR is my the one that I used a good amount, and that one kind of my glasses rest in a very strange spot in those, and maybe my eyes are just looking at them, looking through the glasses in a not so good light, causing it to give me a headache. I don't know. Not so good angle, I mean, you know? I don't know. I do think VR is sick as hell, though. I should be putting these stones on the floor. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing not doing that. Oh! Blue! More blue! More blue! There's nothing like VR chatting with furries. There truly is nothing like it, huh? <laughs> I mean, no, no, not even chatting with people in, in furries with, not even chatting with furries in real life is like chatting with furries in VR. There is truly nothing like it. <laughs> there, I mean, there could be things that are similar, but nothing will ever be the same, ever. Isn't that interesting? We can create these experiences that are so unique that you can't ex like you can't ever experience a thing like that. It changes a man? No, it's not a bad thing, is it? <laughs> stack of these. Holy shit, I'm running out of moon shards. That's not good. I ain't supposed to run out of these. <laughs> Don't mind that. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Can you scroll up? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What creates the fast tool? Um, it was... One of the woods. Lunar? Was Lunar the... That's the normal one, I think. Stick. Yeah, Lunar's the normal one. Dusk. Dusk is the uh, the fast one. Yeah, I got some dusk sticks. I got dusk pickaxe.
They banned me for talking about dark elves for some reason. Man, I, I don't know why I got banned from VR chat. No. In Waterdeep. Just. I was just talking about dirty, fucking, filthy dark elves. I. I don't know what I was banned for. I mean, it wasn't even that bad. I was just talking about those filthy, nasty, disgusting. <laughs> like, you just. Like, whoa. I, Hey man, I think I know why you got banned. <laughs> Good for nothing, rotten. <laughs> Dude, chill out. I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> I don't even know what a dark elf is. <laughs> oh, and now they're taking over our conversations, are they? Dark elves are fucking everywhere, huh? Like, oh my god, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus, like, you should, you should be in jail. <laughs> you shouldn't be wandering the streets. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> of course you think that was good. You like, you like that opinion of Dark Elves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm feeling lightheaded. I need some water. Mmm, that's some good water. I like the part where you said you were going to hold them all in prison. I didn't even say that. I, I said the guy who believes they should be in prison should be in prison. Not the elves. Don't you twist my words. <laughs> You'll get the spear. You'll get the mighty spear. You do that one more time. Oh, damn it. Well, yeah, why would you put the high elves in prison? Because they're racist. <laughs> That's why I put them in fucking prison. What the fuck was that? Do you hear that? There's a creature around here. It came from over here. I want to see it. I want to see the creature. Where is it? I hear it moving around. Oh shit, there's a thing on the on the mini map. You see that? Is he hungry for chips? I think so, Doob Schmitter. I think he just might be. Ooh. Hello? Oh! Fuck! That was rude. That was fucking rude. You better not be coming this way. Holy shit, dude. He has a fucking filthy beast. That's what I'm saying. They merely seek to protect us. No, they do not protect us from the plague. They cause it. What the fuck? Oh shit. Fucking, I can't see them. Oh, shit. Is it? Oh, my God. It has green eyes. Get this guy some chips. <laughs> oh, I'll give him some fucking chips, all right. 
Take my mighty s- Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. It appears this beast is quite mighty. <laughs> I really did just have it up. Take my might. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Start coughing up blood. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got it. I hit it. Oh, it did fucking nothing. <laughs> I'll need to enchant that thing with loyalty. Fuck, it's staring right at me. Yeah. Ready my stance? Foul beast. Poison! Go, go, go! Run, 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 run! Run, 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 run! Oh, back it, back into my hole, back into my hole! Oh, I'm running out of food. Your accuracy is that of a legend. Thank you, thank you, you fine man. Oh, I was gonna say, why am I not healing? Um, I do have a bow. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Oh, fuck. I wish I had milk. That milk pack would be amazing right now. Dude, and I'm out of fucking food. Can I eat bug guts? Oh. You, hold on. Look at my book. Bug guts. Look at bug guts. Okay. There we go. Bug. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Well. It's the only food I got now. Oh. Uh. I bet the drow sent this beast. Hey man. No. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh my god, my weapons don't work this very well. That don't work well in this dimension. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god, you're telling me I have to make a new fucking weapon? You're telling me I have to make a new weapon? Oh, fuck. Uh, get rid of the greatsword. Greatsword, you've done me well. Oh, but I need a new weapon in this dimension. Farewell, greatsword. How did I make that great sword? <laughs> I don't remember. The great sword. Ah, I see. Can I make that in here? What are the weapons I can make with this stone? The Lunar Cobblestone. Ooh. Can I make an axe? <laughs> A Morning Star? <laughs> A Buckler? I'll make a Buckler. A Lance? What the fuck? <laughs> a Heavy Warhammer? That sounds sick. A short sword? Can I make a great sword with it? What the hell's a stickler? A sticker. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can make a great sword. 
an S stock. A Claymore? Hey, a Claymore doesn't sound too bad. A Zweihander sounds pretty cool. I need a short sword and a hilt. All right, how do I make a hilt? Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Hilt. It's so over. It's so, I'm never making that weapon. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna get leather. <laughs> oh shit. Feast on the flesh of your victims, my lord. I wish I could. I wish I could. Hey, you know what? Actually, I can't eat it. I can't eat the bug guts. My lord, your massive blade will hit the walls of the cavern. Hmm. I didn't quite think of that one. You're probably right. You're probably right. I could make one of those spears. Make one of them spears, yeah. A spear. Oh, actually. Oops. Speaking of spears. Let me get that fucking spear back. Where'd it go? Is it gone? Whoa. Do you... Do you see that glowing? Whoa. Hold the phone. What is this or? The Horizonite! The Horizonite! Yeah, baby! Oh, we got the Horizonite! This is the ore that you could smell shit with, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, fuck. There's no food down here, dude. What is this? What are these particles? Is it because it's steaming in here? Smell? Uh, could it be a smell? I think it's gotta be. Oh, what are you dripping? I think it's because it's hot. No? Any other Horizonite down here? I love some Horizonite. I love some Horizonites. Alright. Um, where did my- Whoop. My lord, where have you gone? Oh god, chat disconnected for a second, huh? God damn it. My internet explode? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't on you. It was, uh, it was my- ch It was my stream. It fucking exploded for a moment. That sucks. I don't know why it did- It's been doing that. I hope- it doesn't do that anymore. I I mean I can't I can't really do anything but hope. So, um, yeah. I wonder if I my computer. My computer could be getting hot from all the windows I have open, but I don't know. Hopefully not. Let's see here. We got some good ore, baby. I will need to make a weapon before we continue because the Uchi Katana just will not do in this dimension. Let's see here. What could I have made? Well, I have some Aquite so I can make a weapon out of this. Let's smelt some aquite. Then I can see what I can make with it. The furnace. Let me get out of this area real quick. <laughs> the damned spider area. The spider realm. Okay. Let's get some aquite. Where's my coal? There it is. Open up the backpack. 
pull back in there. All right. Let us see what we can make with this. R. Oh, this gives me smelting recipes? That's pretty cool. <laughs> no. Crafting. What? Crafting. I want to see what I can craft with it. Is it... Okay. <laughs> Chatten or Brit? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> what? Am I pressing the right button here? Whoops. You sure are talking. <laughs> um, what is, what's the button to see? There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay. Just the sword. Nothing else? Just a, just a act white sword? Nothing else? Nothing, um, nothing cooler. Like, I don't know. A spear. Anything. <laughs> Oops. Like the fucking this? Why can't I make this? <laughs> Fuck, I need a pole? It's so over. It's so over for me. I need a hilt, I need a pole. I can't make most of these. A bastard sword? What the hell is that? Two-handed. An S-stock? I could probably make an S-stock. Oh, dude, I want to make the claymore so bad. I have to make a short sword. How do I make a short sword? A hilt. All right, it's over. <laughs> I'll just make a sword. A normal ass sword. Let's put the aquite in here. My lord, you can never wield the sword of a bastard. You're right. You're right. How could I have ever think so? <laughs> How could I ever think so? Um. What was I doing? I need a stick. Uh, what is the sturdy stick? Or what was the stick used for weapons? Frostbite and maple. Okay. Okay. It is dusk. The dusk is good for weapons. Do I have dusk out? No. What is this? Maple. Lunar. This is maple, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get the dusk stick eventually. <laughs> Wait. I thought... I took it out. Did I lose it? Am I blind? You know, I just might be blind. Oops. Cancel. Um. 
What am I doing? I'm spacing out. That's the... These are just normal sticks. Yeah. Maple. Lunar, here it is. God damn. Blind as hell. <laughs> Let's make a stick. The Aquite stick. The Aquite sword. Oh, I can use my shield with this. Okay. All right, I'm rocking with it. I'll have to be fucking on my tippy toes now because, ooh, this is scary. <laughs> There we go. In this room. There's not that I'm seeing. The internet do be interneting. Oh shit, is my stream crashing again? God damn it. I hope it's not. That'd suck. <laughs> hmm. What can I do in this room? It's good on my end. Stopped for a bit. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I appreciate you telling me. Thank you. It tells me when I disconnect from chat. That's when it. That's when I know it stops. But it only tells me that like a couple minutes after it happened, I guess. Is this Cinderstone? Is it? Well, at least it illuminates, so that's cool. I'm being a little careless, digging. <laughs> okay. Wait, I think I know what I can do. I'll fish. There's water within the cave, and I could possibly fish for my food. What do you think, fellas? I shall disconnect the heretics. Thank you. Much appreciated. But they, they do bother me, the heretics. Ooh. Yummy ore. Yummy, 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 yummy. My armor is still kicking. That's pretty fucking awesome. That's pretty awesome, I think. are playing tricks on me. I thought that was ore. I shouldn't run. Running's a bad idea. <laughs> oh. I can't believe we found a spider. The spider was scary. Hmm. I don't have a bucket. Can I make a bucket with the iron counterpart? B, that's right. Oops. Nope. Damn. I need a silly little bucket. Hmm. 
Or if I could find a way back to my waypoint. Oops. I can go there. I don't know how to do that though. Whoops. Find? Oh, cool. The transit? <laughs> Okay. Fellas, let's find our way back up, actually. See if I can do that. Follow the stones. Follow the stones. If I find some water, I'll... Probably put that to good use. <laughs> I find, like, a for a two by two block of water. Probably be able to fish some guys out of that. Gotta be a little careful going on here. Make sure. Hmm, this ain't two by two. Oh shit! More of the good stone. Oh, I'm rolling in this shit. Any food down here? <laughs> Oh shit, I want to go down there so bad. But I must leave, I must depart. 130, bro, wait, wait. Fuck. You think it'd be better if I just built upwards? No. I don't think I have enough blocks for that. Plus, I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, there's the stairs. Yes, I remember the stairs. Let's move in combat mode. Just in case. Hey, more water. I saw that stream disconnected. And I turned over for a moment. But, um, there's something I didn't tell you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. There's, there's something I didn't tell you. I'm a bit of a cheater. <laughs> I have keep inventory on. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that thing on the right? What is that? I just try to stay alive as much as I can. <laughs> Damn, it sucks that the stream keeps dying. Oh my god, we're back to the... Oh, dude, it's like a... It's a shock. It's a literal shock to my... Like, my eyes, my brain, that I'm not in the purple dimension anymore, you know? Like... Oh my god. This is weird. <laughs> wow. 
My lord, the gods themselves have seen fit to revive you. The risen lord stands tall. Now that's for true. <laughs> they love me up, up, up above. Great land above. They love me. They love me there. Now, I want to see if the Azulite works well here. Hello, fly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, that structure is so cool looking. It looks kind of like a beetle. I think those are the horns right there. Right there. Dude, this place is so cool, man. I want to test out this sword. Is that a moose? Holy shit. I don't want to do it on a moose. These are cool. Where not on a moose. The hell are they doing? Oh, they're fucking battling. They're going at it. Seeing who's the alpha up in this in nature and this mountain. It's loitering in your woods. And when you put it like that, you're making me reconsider. Oh shit, those guys are battling over there. You see that? No, they ain't kissing, bro. They're battling. They're fighting. Nature sure is beautiful. What the fuck? Do you see that? Oh, it's just a giant ice cap. It just looks so cool. I thought it was like a tower, like a fortress. I should travel these ice caps sometime. They look so cool. Is that sugar? Oh my god. so quiet up in the overworld can't hear a damn thing no music nothing is that a cheetah holy shit what are you doing man what's up he's chilling hell yeah I wonder if I could befriend a cheetah. Oh, shit. We got a bunch of boars here. Let me tell you, fellas. Boars are nothing to fuck around with. These things are dangerous. But me? Well, I could fuck around with them. I'm skilled. In the art of battle. Woo! Come at me, bitch. Oh. It appears I've fallen. My father was slain by a boar. Well, this is for your father. I'm sorry to Tylorian's father to embarrass him like that. I am I'm so sorry. <laughs> to lead him on like that because the real the real show was to show you that people can be resurrected in this world. 
Soon enough, your father will be too. <laughs> he was a foul wretch. Oh, fuck! Um, yeah, stay dead, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, boars are hard to kill. It's hard to use this roll effectively, too. What if I did it in... What if I what if I did it in third person? Do you think it'd be easier? I wish the armor didn't bug out as much. The mods were compatible. It's just that Um Maybe they're outdated from one another. But last I saw they were compatible. All right, you know what? Let's play some music for this. What if I, <laughs> what if I played this one? All right, boar. Shit, where's Minecraft? <laughs> All right, boar. You're fucking on. When I get your ass, it's over for you. Oh, was that a zombie? Yeah. You motherfucker. There he is. Come at me, you wretched beast. If you even dare. Look at you. you. Can't even hit me anymore. Oh! Dear heavens. <laughs> uh, well. That was easy. <laughs> I tried to make it a little cinematic. The hell's that guy holding? I tried to make it a little cinematic, but it just didn't play out like that. Hey, Cole. Fuck was that? Do you hear that? I hope it's not an ice wizard. These guys are scared. Jesus. That was a lot of build-up. Yeah, it was a lot of build-up for something that ended very fast. <laughs> Sounds like a pillager. Oh, fuck. Brother? Why in the hell would you do that while I'm mining? Pillager. I don't remember what a pillager sounds like. I hope it's not, bro. I want to keep my fucking villager safe. I don't want to fight pillagers right now. <laughs> Fuck, leave, I'm leaving that guy alone. <laughs> Fuck that. Pumpkin? Ah, making my way back home. And you know what? Why not play a little tune for it? Play such a joyous dude. I know, right? <laughs> dude, I need to go to that village soon. It looks so cool. Do they have a snow golem? Their buildings are made of ice. That's so cool. 
They have like chimneys and shit set up. That's so cool. What's up, pig? Oh, fuck. Well, Bella's. I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm pretty tired. But, oh, hold on. Let me. There we go. Minecraft works. Okay. Hey. Thank you all for joining me for this this nice little Minecraft stream. Um, I'll hopefully be able to do Sonic 06 soon, if I can continue that. But thank you for for hanging out, playing Minecraft with me. It's pretty nice. It was a pretty fun time. I'll uh, <laughs> gotta do the tradition. I mean, come on. For this one, I have one to twenty three. Give me a number, 1 to 23. That'll be your ending song. 1 to 23. 1 to 23 here. Ooh, 1 to 23? What? No. 23? Well, the first one I saw. Let's see, what's 23? It is Katamari. It's Katamari song. This is our ending song. <laughs> All right, fellas. Thanks for joining me in this stream, this new apartment building, this new room. Whoa! <laughs> I'll, uh, have a good night, fellas. I'll see you later. <laughs>